Hey everybody, real quick. Are you one of those crazy people who listen to hours of us talking and somehow end up wanting to toss us a couple of bucks? Don't patronize us, you... Do patronize us, because we have YouTube channel memberships open now. And you can join us on our one and only Tim tier, which gets you early access to new episodes as soon as they're done cooling on the windowsill, special channel emotes, and finally, if you're not a fan of YouTube interrupting this podcast with ad breaks, members actually get access to an ad-free version of every episode. Just to be clear, though, the sponsors we feature ourselves are still in there. You will hear about VPNs and wallets. Resistance is futile. Aside from that, we're working on more stuff for the future, other tiers, perks. You'll hear about it when it's all ready. But if you want to start earning pips on your membership badge now, next to your name, you can click that join button below if you're on YouTube watching this, or click the link in the podcast description if you're not. Thanks for listening. Now on to the episode. Have any of you guys actually heard that fake Beatles song that I talked no. about? That I talk- Which one? I've never, I've never heard it. What do you it. mean by that? It's well, okay it's, to it, leave your dog in a hot car. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to leave your dog in a hot car. <laughs> it's okay to leave your dog what? in a Who hot that? car. The Beatles. It's, it's why John Lennon got assassinated because <laughs> oh he kept pushing the hot dog car agenda. Oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> Is that for real? It's just, no. <laughs> it's one of those, you know, like how they rediscovered a new a new track that Paul McCartney like redid to like bring one last Beatles song. This was the one right before that. That's the one. Is yeah. it, so it's real? Yeah, yeah. N- <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Well. Such awful people, those Beatles. Do I yeah, need to boycott it, the Beatles? It's why they it's why <laughs> they broke favorite? up. Okay, the, you just reminded me of the YouTube comment that got me cracking up. It was, uh, not sure I can support them after this. <laughs> It'll be very hard for me. It's why they broke up. Uh, like, you know. Oh, uh, God, it's so stupid. Yoko kept telling John John Lennon, we should start leaving dogs in hot cars more often. And uh, Why is this allowed was on like, YouTube? like, you know what? You're right. We totally <laughs> no, that's, that, that's Ringo. John God Lennon, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear them again. <laughs> Ringo has the funniest one. That's why everyone does Ringo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <Damn. laughs> let's, uh, let's go into it. You know what I've been realizing as we were watching, especially this episode, but I think it's been happening throughout season five. What is that? I feel like the secret agenda of season five is to redo episodes from earlier in the series and Hmm. kind of do them again. Like, like, okay, state your case. So, like, for example, conundrum is essentially clues again, but more interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, clues, they all lost their memory, and the whole point was to figure out why is Data the only one acting weird. And conundrum is everyone lost their memory, but everyone gets to keep their personalities. Therefore, it's all, mm. you know. Hilarity we, ensues. Yes. Uh, and it's more interesting. And then you had, uh, I think it was the wounded. Remember, it's the one where Miles O'Brien's previous captain had like PTSD. Mm-hmm. And yes. So that one was about like dealing with war trauma. And I feel like this episode is much better at dealing with war trauma than the wounded was because the wounded did it in like a really ham-fisted well, way. What the fuck is a wounded? The wounded in that episode referred to Miles O'Brien's former captain who went right. rogue and started killing Cardassians left and right. I don't uh, know that. Yeah, <laughs> well, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I Borg, it's about it's about like iRobot. War- it's a prequel to iRobot. It's it's it's, it's a, they're they're going through trauma it's because when- the 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 Borg is it's reminding the them. Out of <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? I cannot. That was Demon Ricardo. <laughs> but that that's that seems to be sort of the point of a lot of episodes this season. Because like even when you go back to like Imaginary Friend, that was almost a redo of the child, where like there's a creepy child here now, and how do we deal with her? And mm, I think at that point we're getting a little stretchy. There are parallels, but with this many episodes, we might be drawing patterns where maybe it's there's true. just enough material to do so. Yeah, it seems like they're kind of doing it in a way so that we couldn't 
But then it, it's not necessarily done better either. Like imaginary friend, I don't think is necessarily even better than the child. They're both right, probably- right. Like if if you're trying to posit an idea that the writers' room was like, okay, guys, what have we done that we can do again but better? I'm not sure if that they actually had that like idea going. I do. Yeah, I don't think it's. It doesn't seem super intentional. I wonder. Like, there's not a lot of ideas in the world. Everything is. Oh, yes. There's nothing new under the sun and all that. You know what I mean? So it's like they probably are just playing with the same themes over and over again because we often write what we know. Right. You know, and a lot of it's it's very apparent that people, the writers on Star Trek have daddy slash mommy issues. (laughs) They have issues around abandonment. Um, Comes up. They have issues around what else? What else am I missing? Those are the ones that come at me like the strongest. I've been um, writing a lot about cannibalism, and I'm not a cannibal. I don't think you need to. I don't think you necessarily <laughs> write what you know. No, I mean you don't need to, but a lot of people do. Yeah, I mean, that. I'm just saying, you know. And then a uh, Wesley is, you know, supposed to be Gene as right. a kid, you know, and so he literally wrote himself into a show. I imagine. Can I? Can I tell you how I imagine Gene Rottenberry? Rottenberries mm-hmm. was as a kid, mm. like Gene from Bob's Burgers. That's cool, though. That kid's awesome. Yeah. yeah Gene, Gene's way cooler than Gene. Like, get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't be smirch Gene, Gene with Gene. Gene Berger, or Belcher, I should say. Uh, <laughs> Berger. Uh, he's, he's, a, Gene he's, Berger. A, he's a musical genius, which Gene Roddenberry most certainly was not. So I don't, I don't think they are comparable in that way. And who knows? Oh, he's still and a- they have obsessions with feet too. No, so no, no, themes, no. They, they themes were, are it's true. love feet. Although we tracked down who was the issue there. We did a little. I know, little detective but he's part work. of the crew. Yeah. He's it was Marvin. <laughs> it was Rush. Marvin V. Rush. And we have to we have to ask, <laughs> was it written in the script? There's an extreme close up and on her feet. Actually, it was after Marvin right now. got to it. You know, I could check like, that right it now. It was actually. scrawled in like <laughs> pencil. Gene uh Maybe they didn't have that shot in there. Growing up. Was exactly like Gene uh, Gene Wilder and Gene Simmons put together. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking like, yeah, writing like songs just... about fucking dicks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, there's what other themes are there? There's Picard too many, dealing with too, too many themes for one heart to dealing, carry on. <laughs> Picard dealing with does he want to be a okay, parent or not? So, does he want to be in a relationship or not? So for the price, which is the very first episode where we saw the super close up of Deanna Troy's foot, it's actually in the script. Yeah, dude. It says close up on Deanna Troy's foot. It says interior Troy's quarters close on her foot in shine is shiny with oil as his hands work okay, slowly. So somebody transcribed their massaging. wet someone transcribed their wet dream it was into tar- it was Tarantino. Tarantino. His hands this. continue to work, then her <gasps> foot pulls away and after a beat, Troy's face lies Wait, in the same Wait, How do we miss this on the during <laughs> oh the epo- actual episode? I, 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 I guess we didn't think this. to go back to wait, the actual wait, 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 We should have. What episode are you talking about? What episode is this? Uh it's the episode where they were like doing a negotiation over who gets to own this black hole and then one of them becomes Deanna's lover and starts like rubbing his, her feet and yeah, oil. And Archer comes I, on board I, and he's I don't remember any of this I remember the foot thing yeah. but yeah. I don't remember the the, the, the foot thing is the main takeaway the fo- wait so now I have a question were we wrong to blame Marvin he was just he's shooting definitely involved. Marvin who Marvin, so, Marvin, Marvin, Marvin? Marvin? no Troy? Marvin the the DP Marvin V Rush who was the DP but he and was then, just shooting yeah, what yeah. was in the script can no, he be then, blamed no, but then no, in the no. next but then he in the next episode far. where feet came up he directed that Is episode it in, but did yeah, he write it yeah he took it too far dude Maybe but was it in the script was it in the script what what episode was that one I don't know but I'm just saying like it's in the script he's shooting it why are we talking about old episodes though I, it's, I about it. it's important to litigate who is the true foot lover in yeah, TNG. We need oh, to know. I don't, yeah, it's probably Gene. Gene Simmons. <laughs> Let's see. So that was in the host. So let me look up the script for the host. Okay. I'm just uh, saying, I think maybe this whole time we might have been blaming the wrong person. Perhaps. I, I, think, I think it's all Gene Rottenberry's fault, dude. <laughs> You hit me. He's in charge. There must be feet. It is in the script. Oh my God. We've been blaming Interior the barber shop later. Our blue barber works on ND crew in the background. Beverly reclines in a lounge, either hand draped in a bowl of translucent liquid. Her feet are bare, toes oh. freshly painted, I don't held like apart by a special little dry rack. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. 
kind of podcast is this anymore? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but now I feel like we were not fair. We were not fair. To who? To Mar- yeah, to you Marvin. know what? You're right, Sarah. Marvin's still I, a piece I, of shit, dude. I commend <laughs> your dedication to getting to the bottom of this. We had, yeah. it, we had it all Getting wrong. down to the souls so then, of this matter. So then the, the cardinal sins are created by the, the writer of the host was Michael Horvath, Horvat, Michelle Horvat, I guess. And then the writer of The Price was Hannah Louise Shearer. So See, different writers. You guys. Mm. Your theory doesn't hold. So you uh, can have multiple fetishes. foot lovers in yeah. one show. You know, <laughs> It's all Jean's fault. I'm, I'm Blizzard Entertainment you, was full so it was of clearly sexual the foot lover yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, this is important that we we brought this up. It's very important. So. I, okay. This is a so mystery. Star that Trek TNG was, was produced by the Foot Clan. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Apparently. Um, <sighs> but they wow. managed to produce iBorg. Which didn't have any feet in it, but a lot of other good shit uh, in this episode. But before we do that, let's 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 go around the sun. Let's May eleventh, nineteen ninety two, is when this episode. May the eleventh be with you, Dan. Exactly. May the eleventh, not the other eleventh. I'm cutting this off right now. We're going around the sun. God damn it! (laughs) It's Cinco de Mayo times two. It's only been a week since the last airing. So, on the 5th of May, Wolfenstein 3D oh. released for DOS. It put first-person shooters on the map. It did. You get to kill Nazis. That's on, true. On, on Cinco de Mayo? Yeah. It was oh. actually Cinco de Mayo. So, it's actually also a celebration of Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah, I mean, appropriate. Yeah. yeah. In every way possible. It makes sense. Yes. Yeah. It makes total sense. Wolf, on the 7th. Cinco. This, yeah. It, 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 yeah. The, on the 7th, the, the Space Shuttle Endeavor <laughs> and number two hero set out on its maiden mission, STS 49. It involved catching a satellite that had failed to reach the intended orbit and fixing that orbit, and also marked the first three person spacewalk. The oh, Endeavor cool. was the fifth and oh. final active NASA shuttle until it was finally decommissioned in 2011. Wait, way back then is when it was the final shuttle launch? Yep. Well, wow. I, it, well, that wasn't the final launch. It was no, the final no. shuttle. So yeah. that was a maiden oh. voyage of the last shuttle. And then oh, that shuttle went I on see. to do several I more missions. Gotcha. Then, yeah, gotcha. That, that's the Pacific later. shuttle, the Endeavor. So that the was Endeavor, the last yeah. shuttle to be For created, the essentially. Yeah. yeah, the Endeavor was the last shuttle. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Maybe the shuttle went on to you. the ninth. Hey, wait, I have a question. Has do, do we know if anybody's in the moonwalk on in space? What? Has anybody done the moonwalk in space? They didn't know I how. I mean, only in so far as walking on the moon in space. I guess this wasn't so. the moonwalk by Michael Jackson done in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, I get it. I get that can't. They haven't gone to the moon yet. Back. I mean, Back to the Future. But has anybody just done it in space? Like, just kind of just. They can't. You need the floor. You, I Ricardo. Guess. No, C- I've on. seen. I see people do it on in water, dude. But the, 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 it's not water though. Ricardo, oh, come on, God, come on. You guys, I, I, have, I mean, I have you can just evidence. like cycle your legs in the air futilely as you. But that might as well float. be just curly, just curly yeah. from the Three Stooges, just not spinning in a circle. Well, he was doing the moonwalk. <laughs> he was doing the moonwalk. <laughs> curly was uh, doing the moonwalk just on yeah. his side. Yeah, yeah in circles. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Five nine. The final episode of Golden Girls aired on NBC TV. <gasps> oh my gosh! Golden I'm also going to spend some time to clear the air here. For the record, nothing we have said in any <laughs> previous episode was directly responsible for Betty White's death. But That's I'm also true. pretty sure that we did nothing to stop it either. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait! Betty White's dead. <laughs> <laughs> She died. Happened to, okay, now you killed her. Regardless. Yeah, now you killed. You've killed her did again. Did she really die? Yeah. Yes, she she really she died oh. right before her hundredth birthday. Oh, yeah. bummer, dude. There were actually New magazines Kate. where they wrote articles about Betty White reaching her hundredth birthday <laughs> that had to be rescinded because oh, she died right before her hundredth birthday. Mm, Betty yeah, White's amazing. Let's let's not let's have a frame of silence for her here. Well, anyway, uh, we have been accused, so I just wanted to you know defend us. <laughs> We've been accused. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah uh, she traffics in 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 mime time. <laughs> It's mime time. <laughs> um, 511. At the Cannes Film Festival, a musical drama named Serafina was screened, which featured none other than Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, it's sure. about oh. South African students involved in the Soweto uprising during apartheid, or apartheid, which was a series of protests to the implementation of Afrikaans as the main instructed language in schools. This was mm. a musical? Yeah, it's like a dramatic musical. Oh, oh. 
Ooh. A dramatic That's musical. That's hard. That's mm. really they, hard. They, Seems they like just, a really just, heavy subject. They just remade The Color Purple uh, as a musical. Yeah, actually. You, was, can remake, oh, yeah, you can remake anything as a it's musical. It's true. It's just, yeah, you can, you I, it's just for the period, musicals were definitely more associated with like a comedy. And, and like, it's like, like for example, Les Mis is Dude, obviously. Are you talking about a, the sound of music? But it's no, about I mean, fucking Nazis, no, bro. But that was, we're but, talking about 1992. But, but, when musicals were long dead and people associated musicals with jokes, like people didn't like oh, think musicals were like, yeah, musicals were like considered. I a mean, joke. I mean, to, yeah. to, to, I think you, you're thinking of, of movie musicals, but in theater musicals, they were, they yeah, were, but people always made fun of people for theater, mu- musical theater because of stuff like cats. And they were like, oh, look at this stupid bullshit. You know, theater people were making fun of those people. They're exactly. Like, ah, the, ah, musical ah, theater was the bottom of the rung when it came to making jokes about them. <laughs> like they I were the know. people everyone well, not they were still higher than improv people, but you the, but, well, no one respects improv people. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean there is definitely let, a let big say, distinction to be made between like Broadway this, and movies. Let me tell you yes, this. So. Yes. Yes. The worst thing in the world. The worst thing in the world is someone inviting you to their improv show. Uh, I, I have been invited to many of. It was improv bad. Shows. It was yeah. really bad. No, recently. Uh, uh like a couple years ago. Like two, two or three years ago. Yeah. It was pretty bad. Oh no! Like here's the thing: if you're over twenty five and and you're still inviting somebody to the improv shows, something's gone awry. Uh, <laughs> just just awry. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Oh, no. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. Like, is it just if I you take anyone to an improv show in general, or is it when you take someone specifically to your improv? I show? think it's both. <laughs> both, <laughs> it's both. Well, well, okay, it can be both, but which is worse? But like, okay, if inviting someone, someone to your if improv someone show took me sure. to go watch whose line is it anyway, it'd be like, oh yeah, that's just a fun show. Let's oh, all watch different. together. Yeah, I mean, that's high but class. if someone was like, hey, I'm I just got accepted into Groundlings at the bottom tier and uh can you come no, to my no, show he, even you know? even at the top tier even here's, here's, the thing. here's the thing like you could come and go hey we're gonna go travel back in time and we're gonna go see will ferrell at the groundlings <laughs> i'd be like it's gonna That's be shit dude dumb. it's gonna be shit it's so you guys wouldn't go see me at- I would never go see you. I would never go see you. Yeah, I would go and I would protest. <laughs> Shut this place down, dude. <laughs> like, uh, you'd, be, you'd be like that church that shows up to funerals. To, like, yeah, the Westboro them. Baptist Church. Yeah, the Westboro church Baptist. Of, of, You're of, the Westboro Baptist Church of Improv. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just going to invite everyone to my new improv endeavor. Yeah. Oops. I would ask for a snappily edited YouTube short version of your improv. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even that. I'd be like, you know what? Find something else to do. I'll, I'll pay for you to do something else. Find another hobby. <laughs> Find another hobby. Let's just go to the movies together instead. Yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> if you said, if you said, what do you do? You do you want to go see somebody's improv or sit in the DMV for five hours? I'd be like, let's go to the DMV. <laughs> let's do it. I At think least. this is why I don't like. You know, when you go to a stand-up show and mm-hmm. they start doing a ton of crowd work, I think that's why I don't like that. Because that's essentially saying, hey, do improv with me, person in crowd. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's like, no, I paid to watch you. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> like, you you comedy at me. I don't comedy back to you. Uh, you, you imagine, still imagine like when they went, pick on imagine, you. Imagine if you went to the, the theater and like they're like, all right, we're going to take somebody from the audience here. <laughs> <laughs> like De Niro's on Broadway, and he's like, yeah. "Okay, oh uh, no, but sorry, Pacino." He's like, "Whoa, he's that like, that person in the back." Yeah, it's like that's you know the plot, with, right? Yeah. But that's what he did with yeah, cats, yeah, yeah. which is why people don't like yeah. cats because cats has people, people has the dude, cats go into dude, this theater your and like touch loves cats. people. You know? You're wrong, dude. Oh, no, you're yeah. so wrong. Cats. The worst. What yeah. are you talking about? Marvin, insert insert here. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. <laughs> no, because I'm right. Cats is awful. People, you said people hate cats. People love cats. I just people also hate cats. I'm a people. So I hate cats. I am a people. I Borg. I am Marvin. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is this is random and completely tangential. <laughs> yeah, yes. good use of that. Uh, just real quick, if anyone listening has ever seen Spider Man turn off the dark, let us know what that oh, was like. Wow. Just let in, us know. In which version? There were like ten. Different different versions because they had to keep changing it uh yeah. so excellent but before we Marvin, begin, it was a it was a multiverse oh it was a, it was a musical dude Come it was on, actually right. the spider verse yeah. they were already doing it see completely ahead of its time wow yeah, dude 
We yeah, should go back in time and just watch as it. dangerous as the spare verse. <laughs> in yeah. fact, <laughs> yeah, I feel like Turn Off the Dark is the last like major pop off cameo that can occur in a Spider Verse movie. <laughs> oh my god! Like they end up in the Turn Off the Dark universe. <laughs> yeah, that's the last great pop off. I think, I, dude. L- let me tell you, dude. Let me tell you. I want to pitch a movie to 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 Marvel. I mean, you know, one could hope that Kevin Feige's <laughs> listening. Maybe. Uh, Kevin, this is my pitch. I'm just pitching to you. Right. You let you. Oh, I only need fifty million dollars. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a it's like That's a chump catering change. cost. Chump yeah, change. Chump change. and it's, a penny. it's it's a it's like a short. It's a Spider Man. It's a it's basically a, a multi Spider Spider Verse movie, and it's Spider Man teaming up with Chris Gaines. Um, See, the problem already though is that you're actually not appealing to Kevin Feige. You're appealing to Amy Pascal. Who is not going to listen no, to you? No, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige. He does, Garth he does not fans. own the rights to Spider Man. I understand, but he loves Garth Brooks, and he'll get them for him. <laughs> he's a big Garth Brooks. That's why he always wears a hat. He's, that's he's, why he's, he yeah. wants to wear a cowboy hat. Yeah, but they're like, you can't, Kevin. But that's too racist. It's, you can't yeah, wear. A- <laughs> and he's like, all right, baseball hat. Um, so it's Garth Brooks. Uh, uh, so so Garth Brooks has gone missing. And Spider Man <laughs> and Chris Gaines has have to get together and solve the case. And it turns out he was there the whole time. You, you, you had amnesia. Because <laughs> Spider Man has never seen Garth Brooks before, yeah, so he doesn't no. know. Uh, yeah. that, well, well, he's he, from a different universe. He never sees ever. He doesn't okay. know. He's, he's from a universe yeah. without Garth Brooks. Yeah, yeah, and he's and Chris Gaines is all emo, and he's like, "Oh man, uh, my brother Garth Brooks." Uh, from another mother uh, has gone missing, and it's just like a it's like a featurette, forty five minutes in but, and out. But, it, but it's it's like it's like a Guardians of the Universe or the of the of the Galaxy thing where they come together with like a sentimental ending. Yeah, yeah, totally. They all, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it could be a Christmas movie. I don't know. Yeah, you, you know? can make it's just like just redo Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. But, but and then Chris use Gaines. Garth Brooks in the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah with dude. Chris Gaines and Spider Man's also there. <laughs> I mean, while we're pitching our dream Marvel projects, here's the one that I always want. I want She-Hulk and Matt Murdock in an Ace Attorney game where the investigations are instead just side-scrolling beat-em-up segments. Yes. <laughs> oh, you want a game, though? Yeah, oh, I want yeah. a game. I oh, yeah. Game. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Or if they're going to do not a game and you're going to do a TV show, still do that. Because the She-Hulk show was not that. The, the She-Hulk show was a lot more superhero stuff. And I wanted a lot more courtroom BS. Almost. Yeah, I want superhero courtroom law firm BS. Give me that yeah. show. There was a little bit of that, but not enough, in my opinion, and not enough of Matt Murdock as Matt Murdock versus uh, instead of as as the as the Daredevil. You know what? You're right. Like Daredevil is one of those characters that is pretty dang compelling as his, as his civilian identity. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it's just like, as compelling, if not more so. It's like it's also, it's a similar reason why our our DC dream is Gotham Central. Just do that as a show. What's what's Brian your Star Cranston Trek dream? As Commissioner Gordon. Oh, dude, jo- Brian Cranston as yeah. Jean-Luc Picard. Gordon. As Jean-Luc Picard, dude. Oh, oh we never, okay, we never sure, thought about this. A Jean-Luc never... that breaks bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. He, he starts making meth out of dilithium crystals. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> oh, I would watch that. Um, uh, no, I, I actually never thought of that. He he'd make a good John Luke Picard. Just fucking angry all the time. Well, um, but he, he but see, Brian Cranston has the range though, so he could have. Yeah, he, he could, could make like, people laugh. Yeah. He can make. No, he would laugh. make a great starship captain, not necessarily as a Picard. Yeah. He would just make yeah. a great captain character, I think. Yeah, yeah. he would. Anyway, so, we we did conclude our trip around the sun a while yeah. back. So, oh, okay. Well, too many suns. Yeah. Listen, Exter oh, is boy. our sponsor, <gasps> and you know what? It's holiday season. Here's the thing. So Black Friday is over. Obviously, yeah. you can't say that now. You can't say that nowadays. <laughs> Uh, Dark Friday is over. Yes. That sounds <laughs> potentially worse. No, 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 no. Deadly Maybe. Friday. Yeah. Obsidian Friday is yeah. over. Okay. <laughs> Noir, Noir Friday. Noir Friday is <laughs> over. <laughs> uh, but did you know that you can get an even better deal than you got on Black Friday? If you so you use- lied to us, Marvin. Because you said that deal was great, dude. You said that's great, you said, you said that. but I didn't say it was the best deal. <laughs> oh, I didn't say, damn, dude. Okay, lying. okay, okay, okay. Or even you if he did, there, he dude. probably said so far. Yeah. yeah. Oh, or he's crossing his fingers. The thing is, you you, you guys know what extras all about. They're not just wallets. I mean, I They're wallet nice and compact. Yeah. You know, stylish. Uh, we noticed. Yeah, we noticed, guys. One of you bought the solid gold wallet, which is pretty. So, somebody did. 
Yeah. Somebody did. Yeah, oh, we could tell. Fucking baller, dude. Who Someone bought the you solid gold me? wallet. Please Marvin, show Marvin, us. Marvin, Marvin, email we, a, Marvin, email Marvin, a picture. Marvin, email Marvin, a picture. Who it is? Marvin, we just know. Up to it, homie. Marvin, Marvin. <laughs> you telling me we have a baller that listens to the fucking show, dude? Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. If, yeah. If flex on us, man. Yeah, Sound off in the dude. comments. We yeah. know one of you did it. So I, 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 can you just like screenshot and not screenshot like it's a computer. Um, can you just send send a send a pic, dude? Yeah, send us a pic of your gold ball, yeah, dude. Because you know what, I am I am gold ball curious. You know, yeah. I, I've I've been curious yeah. for a bit. I also, don't make sure you send where... a very clear picture yeah. of the card spread out and also yeah. the three numbers <laughs> on the back. Yeah, yes. but also don't send a picture where like. You, like you're holding it like this from above and you're taking the picture and then and then your dick's in the background no. uh or or other unless genitalia. you meant to yeah, yeah unless you meant to but then you make your consent. intentions clear yeah right so, so this, is, just, this is for the homies yeah at, so, the, at the podcast yeah exactly so, um i want to see a picture of that i want to see what it looks like in real life because i know what a picture what's, what it looks like professionally alum- shot professionally yeah. shot and we know? also know what the aluminum one is like yeah but we don't quite know what it's like if that's gold if you don't gold, quite know man. Baller move, dude. But the thing is, if you want any of those products from Exter, you can still go to partner.exter.com slash newbie, or just use the offer code newbie when you check out at exter.com, which actually that's pretty much what everyone's been doing, which makes sense. Like, why how do you, you, what do you, how do you spell that? Oh, uh, E K S T E R dot com. Okay. Yeah. And actually, See, it's probably the easiest route. Just go to extra.com and just use the offer code newbie. That's pretty much what 99% of you have been doing anyway, which is totally mm-hmm. fine because it's a little easier. And then you can save up until some time in December. I don't know exactly when. You can save up to 55% off any extra order. That's more than they even did during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, any of that. It's even more. And other cool stuff. If your order is above $50, free shipping. You get free returns within 100 days of receiving your order. It's a 12-month warranty on pretty much every product you can think of. And you get a free gift with any order above $90, which is pretty great. So Damn. again, that's partner.exter.com slash newbie. Or just go to exter.com, E-K-S-T-E-R.com, and use the offer code newbie, N-E-W-B-I-E, when you check out to get up to 55 percent off any order site wide that's pretty damn imagine cool. imagine you go to fucking you go to christmas with your family and then you roll out you're like oh yeah you know and then like the because look if you're at your parents house for christmas or a family member sometimes you're there for if you're traveling especially you're there for a couple of days dude and you're not always just cooking food sometimes you're ordering pizza imagining like someone's like oh we're gonna order pizza steve could we get your car, dude? It's your yeah, time to pay. And exactly. he fucking busts out the fucking gold wallet, dude. Yeah. Steve's looks like a badass, dude. You're the talk of the town. Yeah. 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 Everybody in, in fucking in uh in the little town in fucking Kentucky is gonna freak out, dude. They're all, all of a sudden they want you to pay for every meal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you better I'm be, be honest. Dude. When I when I first saw the solid gold wallet, I was like, This is stupid. No one should ever buy this. Yeah. But now I'm and like, now look at you. Yeah. Now look I kind of want it. I kind of yeah. do want it. <laughs> yeah. You've you've been on that gold wallet's dick since the last episode. <laughs> I know, dude. We keep talking about that gold wallet. I've been on that gold member for this whole time. Yeah. Ooh, uh, nice. Uh, but nice. next uh, next sponsor, ExpressVPN, because you know what? We have a few updated talking points with them. You know they're a great quality VPN, but did you know that their speed? It's up to 10 gigabits. That's too fa- too fast. That's literally, so I have fiber I'm internet. Scared. I'm yeah. at one gigabit. You can literally, like 10 gigabit is enterprise speed. That's like as fast as like the company of Netflix goes. Like it's I, absurd. I can't even keep up with that. Yeah, like it's absurd. You could go that fast. And Can you imagine all the porn you could download with 10 you gigabits? Could, you could just download all of Pornhub in about 30 seconds. Nah, that's too fast. <laughs> you don't realize how much porn there is. <laughs> I, probably like five minutes. Mm, five minutes. I don't know. All of porn. Ten gigabits per second is quite fast. So. There's, I there's feel like petabytes. I feel there's like it's dangerously of- easy to <laughs> underestimate all of this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, if you signed up with ExpressVPN, had your eight devices that you can use all downloading off of Pornhub oh, smart. at 10 gigabits at a time. That could maybe do it in 30 seconds. Here's my thing about ExpressVPN, guys. Okay. I'm going to tell you about the story about how I ended up here in Bel Air. I was born in West Philadelphia, born and raised. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, Where did you spend I, most of your days? Yeah, yeah. I use it all the time. First of all, I have it on, on my phone constantly. 
and I never feel like it's slow ever. Oh yeah, I always uh, leave it on for for yeah. safety purposes. Your phone is an especially easy target for misanthropes to be looking at, so that's why. Too many thropes. <laughs> and then I usually have it on my computers, but also I could I could just drop it in on my um, Apple TV on my Xbox. Right. I have I have a lot of systems in the and I could have a certain like so I could have my my PS5 go through London so so like in in each one I could just have it go into a different country and I could just go into Netflix allegedly. Mm, mm. And GeoHop, dude. Mm-hmm. GeoHop from my couch. Mm-hmm. Mr. Hop. Worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> Geo couch. Yeah. yeah. I got a haircut like Mr. Worldwide cuz that's how much I love him. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. why you have it. Yeah. 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 And ExpressVPN offers a bunch of other services. They have that ad blocker. It's built in. So if you want to see, you don't want to see any ads anywhere, just turn that ad blocker on. You don't see ads anymore. And but, but if you but if you like it, you could turn it back off as oh, well. Oh yeah, you can turn it's, yeah, it's toggleable. You, you can yeah, turn if, it on. If you're like, but I that's how I that's how I know what to shop for. <laughs> yeah. I then love when I'm yeah. advertised to. Then you yeah, can't like, I can't enough. decide without the pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, it comes in with the built-in keys password manager now i saw someone who said hey i don't know if i want to tie my keys and my password manager to a service i may not use permanently right mm-hmm. fair point i learned and expressvpn even says this in their faq about keys you don't actually need an expressvpn subscription to keep using keys Ooh. That's, that's the crazy part it's you can use it for free they just decided to let you keep using it for free. That's cool. Because they were like, we so don't want to. Wait, so is your initial use of it behind like, you know, a membership or subscription? And from then what I understand you it afterward? Yes. So from what I understand, uh, you just need to, I, I think you can't necessarily use it to its full extent while it's offline, like off subscription. But if you're like, oh, I don't want to redo all of this shit, uh, move to a different password manager if it's all, if I turn it all, all off. As long as it's all remained installed in all your systems, it's for free. You can use it forever for free. Whatever your also, it's very manager. easy. It's very easy uh, if you have one of the password manager apps to switch from app to app. Uh, you just have to download one file. It's one single file, and it has everything, and it's it's secure, and you can encrypt it as well. Like so, when you mm. install it in the new app, you have to you have to put in like a new password. And um, I, it's not too hard. So if, if you decide like, eh, don't want to do ExpressVPN, but I want to go, I want to move my shit over to one password. It's yes. not that hard. It's easy. But it's a, if you also don't want the hassle, you don't have yeah. to even hassle. It'll just that leave too. it alone. Also yeah. the other way. So say you have one password and you're like, well, I want to stop paying for that. Get the ExpressVPN, switch over. You could export your file and then yeah. bring it into ExpressVPN. Yeah. And it's all encrypted. And also ExpressVPN takes a bunch of extra security measures to make sure your password doesn't get leaked. Like, for example, if you decide to copy paste it in your phone, because it's the easiest way to, you know, use your crazy passwords across devices, uh, it'll wipe out your clipboard after a minute or so just to make sure that no one can read your clipboard. Yeah, and grab it's your a good day. It'll just it'll just wipe it. <laughs> Exactly. So yeah, if you if you guys want to check that out, head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And when you sign up for 12 months, they give you three months for free. That makes the entire package 49% off. And there's even a 30 day money back guarantee. So you have you don't have to worry about risking anything. Just try it out. Fantastic VPN. Again, expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, they give you three months for free. All right. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? I can't believe we're just starting. It feels like we've been recording for like 35 hours. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. When you're having fun, this episode starts off and they're always uh, getting into trouble, these guys. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The, 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 I wish. Although in this, that, well, that's actually... This is one of the few times they're not getting into trouble. They actually start off with a very like happy reconnaissance mission about a yeah. potential new place to set up a settlement. No, what so, I yeah. think is funny is that they're like they're just scraping. They, they want so badly to respond to distress signals that they just interpret anything as a distress <laughs> signal. Yeah. Oh, it's been two weeks since we've last had a distress signal. <laughs> so, so I have a, uh, so okay. So they get a distress signal and then they go check it out and it turns out there's like. Borg that were just like drifting in space and they fucking they had a Paul Walker moment. RIP. <laughs> <Wow>. Um, um <laughs> but here uh so but he, he here's the thing. When the you when they pan over into the, the, the planet, it looks like it's like 
there's like stuff. There's like a little hut and there's like caveman stuff. Like it were looks the, like people live there. Yeah, like did they were they yeah. gonna enslave them or what? What's happening? You know what I mean, it maybe so. It's possible oh, yeah. that the the so the Borg don't go anywhere unless there's a culture to assimilate, right? Well, so it's but like, they were it's sending like, um like these are uh what do you call like uh, little teams like does yes the so it's like a reconnaissance team it's a reconnaissance okay. team yeah so and they send it in a little mini cube yes a it's, a, it's a mini cube, cube. yes yes yeah. they said yeah. it's like a blue 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 blue. mini cube which I do think is fun uh but I think what could be like the, the visual backstory but not the actual story like they didn't say it out loud is that the Borg discovered a settlement but the settlement's long gone so that mm. might be why they crashed there. They probably froze to death on this fucking planet. Do you think? Do you think? Um, it's freezing. Do you think uh, he was like, "Slow down, Tim. Slow down, Tim. Slow- dude, you're coming <laughs> hot, dude." He's like, <laughs> "Real fast, real fast, slow me. down." And he's like, "Trust me, I'm gonna, drift it. I'm, I'm gonna drift it in. I'm gonna drift it in." And he just fucking he just slammed into the planet. Dude. I also, can't like, shake him. <laughs> how do how do the board crash? Like their computers. That's true. They didn't explain. Maybe this planet's, ass, this dude. planet's uh, dangerous. Maybe that's why the the yeah, original civilization said they're supposed no, to dude. account for all of that, right? They're AI. They're bored. Yeah, they're smart. They're they, not perfect. They, they're definitely exploitable. Yeah, I so you know. I guess Elon they must have been like AI. really, really far out of range of the collective because it took them of like we have seen precedent where they reclaim their dead or their dead fade away in that green goo. Yes, very quickly after being put down yeah. or decommissioned but these guys were just sitting there dead yeah for a while yeah. the borg do spread quite far we knew so, we know this from in their high, mini cubes yeah and, yeah and we also know this because uh in the episode what was it called was it deja q where q decided to introduce them to the borg yeah that was deja q so yeah. in that episode he knocks them so far away that Federate the Federation has never been to this part of space, right? Oh yeah, that's true. So that means the Borg do spread very far. Yeah, they spread. <laughs> <laughs> they man spread all over. They Borg yeah, spread all over the galaxy. Yeah, it's to the, to the point where even Guinan species, the Elorians, are like, we are spread all over the galaxy because the Borg were trying to chase us. So you know that's oh crazy. So they land in Hoth, dude. And how cool would it have been if like, they saw like a fucking a lightsaber tauntaun? pokes out of a tauntaun? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and that would have been cool, dude. And they're like, they're like, oh fuck, we went too far. Um, <laughs> they went to a different fucking part of the space that doesn't belong to them, you know. <laughs> it's owned by Disney. Um, <laughs> Get out of here! This is yeah. Iger turf. Yeah, he's over <laughs> here. We 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 pay low These wages. Are Paramount Mountains. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, over here we have slave wages uh, <laughs> Bob Iger and his fucking slave. you'll never defeat our army of Disney adults <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Disney adults <laughs> that's what Borg are Disney adults are essentially Borg for you, Disney. Will never win an, you will never win an argument with a Disney adult you never will no yeah. Yeah. they'll you're always like, love Disney you're like, you're like yeah but you know like it's kind of built on like anti-semitism <laughs> Yeah. And they're like, they're like, nah, dude, nah. but not anymore. You're like, yeah, but like, like, it's kind of like, it's weird. It's kind of like, it feels like buying like a, like a Mercedes Benz, you know, like it's the, the German car and it's like, <laughs> Nazis, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Mercedes will never sponsor this podcast now. No. no. Um, but anyway, so they landed. And we were really like, buying oh, for them too. We were really, dude, we really yeah, wanted we that like, Benz we, were, we really wanted them to drop a fucking Mercedes on us. <laughs> Damn. Um, so they, they get there and they realize, oh shit, it's a Borg, dude. It's a Borg cube. But immediately, I would have been like, "Dude, Jordy, get down here, dude. We're gonna we're gonna scavenge all the shit we can." I don't know why nobody <laughs> thought like, like immediately, dude. Five minutes in, five minutes out, grab whatever you can from this fucking ship, dude. Like, mm. Why are people thinking like, I don't? Do they I, need it? I mean, maybe. Dude, maybe it's just junk, space d- junk. D- are you telling I mean, me the, the most advanced pr- fucking race yeah, that's that enslaves sure. people? You don't want to know what their fucking technology is. That's true. <laughs> that's that's a fair point. But they've had other opportunities to like steal some Borg shit, or like they could have just kept all of the locutus parts they took off. Of Which they probably he did. did. He they did. did. No, yeah. Jordy says. Sure did. Jordy says he he kept it and yeah, and then they studied it. it. It's true. So he has. So I, I, I think stuff. the primary explanation. He's a, he's a, we we kept her cut piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, it's quite hard. Studied uh, that. Uh, I mean, we, I think the primary explanation is that that's just not what the story was about, I guess, for this episode. Okay, yeah, why didn't right they here. just 
realize it's the Borg, and I'm with Worf. Like they should have dipped like really fast. Uh, yeah, what well, the well, fuck? Well, well, the suggestion was to kill them. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We should yeah. kill him immediately. Make it I look mean, like an accident, like, especially with. Like, the, I would have PTSD. I would. So I mean, honorable. <laughs> just get the fuck out like we know what the Borg did it was terrible like Look, we but, need it, to leave. It, but I, the thing is the the for some okay the moral center of the episode was actually Beverly Crusher <laughs> I, which I hate I hate that dude like I hate that so much I okay a part of me is kind of like uh, a part of me kind of loves how I was forced to go from the beginning of the episode from Beverly, what the fuck are you doing? You <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah. Yes. To yes by the exactly, end of the episode. Exactly. God damn it. Why was she right? She's so right though. <laughs> she should have been right. I'm so mad. Here's the but thing. This was a good episode. Damn it. <laughs> it's she a was, good episode. She was totally right the whole time. God damn it. <laughs> like I get it. I get it. I get it. But at the same time, he went back. And, and like, he, he, the thing is like, does he really have autonomy and like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm convinced. We don't know for sure. That's the thing. Okay. The thing that doesn't convince me about like that hope of him going back is like, yeah. Uh, Erasing one's individuality is their entire deal. That's all they do. Yeah. That's their bag. You know what I mean? That and like, so like if, if one of them develops just a tiny little bit of it back, like why why would they not just do that? (laughs) To be fair. Because they see, they're so they, they they operate with such blinders on that they ignore individuals right next to them. That are I guess that's kind of true. it's kind of like a like a certain political party. Uh, <laughs> I won't say which one, but but my point is that like their procedure might be that you're like, oh, you're intact. We'll just bring you back yeah. in. We're done. Yeah. Like you know, like they they were about to exploit them by saying that they'll just scan anything, right? So yeah. okay, well, I, I guess the converse of that like criticism that I was that I was building there is all alternatively or conversely, why hasn't that like spark of individuality always been there from all the people they've yeah, assimilated? Dude, yeah, yeah, because they should be there should be a bunch of chatter like, hey, dude, I like fucking I like watching you porn, dude. What do you like? Maybe because like, no, we, you're, we we are Groot. <laughs> Maybe it's because while you're in the context of the system, you can't develop it on your own. Ugh, but I once you're that. separated from the system, you can. I mean, that's kind of like how like- I mean, like, that is some head y stuff, but it's it's enough. No, it's this enough. isn't even head I, I This is now almost sociological. Like, for example, like when people have racist tendencies, it's because they happened to grow up in- in organizations oh, or <laughs> well, well in in environments i apologize where, for everybody in Tennessee. <laughs> I, I, where they have to a low blow where they have to like really enforce racism like you need an entire system that's why it's called systematic racism you need a whole system around it to continually support it so when you just separate somebody away from that for a while it's just like oh shit that was that was I, i'm not gonna name who it was, but there is a friend that Ricardo and I both know who he went, he grew up in a very conservative setting. Then he went to college and he realized that, oh, everything's really different. And in fact, everything I learned in this really conservative little bubble I was in is not always true. And, you know, and that gets, I think that's a great metaphor for what happened to Hugh is in the sense that like he was part of this system was removed. Yeah. Are you calling Hugh Amish? Are you talking about yourself, <laughs> Marvin? <No. laughs> but uh, here, I, have, a, I have a question though. Could Hugh be programmed to be bingo? Bingo. You know, be to to act this way? Like to be you don't think they thought of that? No, yeah. Let me put you this idea. Maybe. So so they had they were gonna put the virus in him. Cyrus the virus, right? Right. right. Yeah. They and, they and, saved him and they were gonna put yeah, the virus in yeah. him. And then, as a Trojan and then, like, horse. Basically, the Trojan yeah, horse, yeah. yeah. But why not put another virus that makes him think individual thoughts or yeah, i was thinking that too yeah, i right, was like right. why not like okay. just why not like like dial up those happy good individualistic yes. thoughts like yeah. to 11 like puppy and, dogs and, like, and ice back. cream yeah i think that <laughs> like, was sort of wearing Picard's like planet the wearing other than black you know <laughs> but they didn't do anything to artificially spike it is dude. my point <laughs> well maybe like, they don't know how maybe this is, what, this is what they should do dude two two ideas one they just put pleasantville the movie in there you know and they're like oh everything's not black and white we could have color. <laughs> uh, two, uh, they fucking play Creed's uh, song with our arms wide open, and then and then All they, they, they played a loop. We they yeah. played a loop. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then he goes into the hive, and then they're all thinking. And then it's like, and then what they're all thinking. Why do I want to be 
be with arms wide open. <laughs> and, then, and then they're all free. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and then and then they're all free. They're like, oh, we want to listen to Creed. And then and then But that's a bigger little, problem now. <laughs> well yeah, but at least at now least we have a huge problem. That's like huge. the UK who you, the UK is telling youth Hey, in order to stop people from smoking, we're gonna get them to start vaping instead. It's well, a, it's just as bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, but at least at least one of them at least vaping is kind of funny because you look like you're sucking a robot dick. Um, <laughs> I never thought of it like that. Uh, you never thought of, I, every time yeah. I see them vaping, I'm like, look at them. They're just fucking sucking robot dicks. Oh, <laughs> they wow. even do that motion. Them. That this is how you have to yeah, vape. Yeah, you yeah. have to do yeah. that. Yeah, they, that's and that's okay. how they look like this. Yeah. yeah, it comes in a few different form factors. I think. Yeah. I think after enough derision, they started trying to make ones that look a little more like a flask. Yeah, big old, so thick. But they still have to do dick. that with the flask, though. They have to go. Yeah, they got it like that. <laughs> um, sure. So, so Dan, I, I agree with Jen was thinking as well, which is that just why not infect them with a virus that makes them happy or like makes Maybe them they think know like. How. What do you mean they, they don't they, know? They how? had to come up so their so their solution to kill them. Was a really convoluted thing that takes over a part like a like a like a paradox. It was like a like a butterfly effect. Type I understand. Thing, right? like I a understand. Waterfall. But that was such a stupid idea that another <laughs> stupid idea could have worked, which is like just put play the Beatles or something. The Beatles is the ultimate form of assimilation. Yeah. Okay, but like, don't they <laughs> have paradox absorbent crumple zones? No, th- th- it's not Futurama yet. So damn it. <laughs> I think honestly, they're just afraid of the Borg. I think they're afraid. They're afraid to mess with it. I, I think deep down, that's my feeling. Is well, they're just yeah. afraid. Who is afraid? Picard. All, all of them. I think they're afraid. I think there's the everyone's so hesitant on what to do and so afraid of the Borg that they are like, do we change something? Do we not change something? Do we wipe them out? Do we leave them alone? Do we? What, what's the right thing to do? And they just kind of fumble everything. No, and you're right. Like, oh, I mean, never that's mind. Good. Just, just let them go back, and we'll just pretend like nothing happened. And it's just like it just feels like they're just very afraid of the board. Like, well, I don't think that's the takeaway, though. I think that's the initial of encounter. Yeah, I, I do appreciate how at the outset, like now, when the Borg appear, they're a big deal. I like yes. how now by yeah. now it's like, oh shit, the fucking Borg are back. Like and you I, can actually feel that a little bit now. And I and I, what I really like is that this is maybe the first episode where people aren't acting like idealistic exemplars of the right thing to do. There mm. a lot of people are reacting based on their emotion. And yeah. to the point where they're not being rational. Picard and Guinan specifically, they both have a reaction to the Borg where they don't necessarily act rationally. Like Guinan just super but hates for good reasons. Yeah, for good, justified. Guinan? And again, Guinan, is, Guinan is, is racist, dude. <laughs> well, in a minor sort of way, she is being prejudiced pretty much up with all the way Borg exist. Yeah. So yeah, and all, all Borg is is uh, robot Edward Scissorhands. Dude, that's the <laughs> funny part. Okay, it's funny that you say that. So, uh, um, what's the what's the, the actor's name? So, first Johnny of all, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, dude. <laughs> Amber Turd. Well, well, the, the actor Johnny who Burton. played the, the actor yeah. who played Hugh was Jonathan Hugh Del Ar- Jonathan oh. Del Arco. Yeah, and he actually auditioned to, to be Wesley. So when he was turned oh. down, he actually was so upset he decided to never watch TNG until he got hired to play Hugh, and then he was super stoked and he was super happy. That this was like his, because he loved the script. How did he get hired it's a really to play good one. Hugh if he uh, never he just, watched he, he, again? He just auditioned again, I guess. And why would you out. audition no, for a show no, that you no, hate, Sarah? Sarah, sometimes what? it's it's no, that's not. Or so they like, thought about him and were like, hey, yes. We like so like, you. what that's happens? Fine. A, yeah. What happens a lot of the time is like a casting director is in charge of casting at first. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then they go sure. and then goes to producers. So I'm I'm sure if he was up, if he was up for it, if he was like the top five choices, like he those, loves I'm Star sure, Trek. I'm sure those five people came back in other roles because well yeah a, that's exactly what happened with uh, outrageous okana like yeah. billy campbell was supposed to be Riker, uh, but jonathan know, frakes so got it instead so they gave him the okana character chow was once a yeah. potential tasha yar and so they brought her back yeah and the guy who was the traveler was supposed to be data but Oof. but luckily he's too creepy he's like yeah, you're we, too it, creepy kind dude. of so that's so they got yeah. brett spiner instead and if only we had wesley snipes on this cast <laughs> yeah dude 
as dude, Wesley. Imagine yeah. him roundhouse kicking. <laughs> dude, imagine him. Imagine Wesley Snipes as a wharf dude. Well, remember oh, he was God. supposed to be. <laughs> he was supposed to be Jordy. Badass, dude. Yeah, he <laughs> was like, oh, no. He was on a short list to be Jordy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was on a short list to yeah, be Jordy. Yeah. That's oh, why. No, that's, that's the thing that stuck out to me most dude, in that. That would have been awesome. That released a memo. I was like, Huge wow, roundhousing, <laughs> roundhousing people. Bam, dude. Imagine Wes. Imagine Wesley Snipes as Jordy doing the creepy things he does in Booby yeah. Trap. Oh, and my Galaxy God. This would be a totally different show. Oh, my God. I want to see that multiverse. <laughs> but, 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 but the point about the, uh, the Edward Scissorhands, the writer said once he saw uh, Ronald DeLarco acting as Hugh, he was like, he's basically our Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, he yeah. has the same yeah. mannerisms. He kind of has the same like innocence and that's kind of how oh you're not saying he was like oh he inspired me it's like no he fucking ripped us off <laughs> yeah what, what do you mean you mean that you mean this guy stole johnny depp's characterization uh yeah they they compared him to edward scissorhands like the yeah, performance like johnny depp's too good dude <laughs> too good for anybody you uh, heard. i mean with uh, with that said i do see this the similar the similarities yes where they were both like they're both encased in these suits that give them limited motion, yeah. but they have pale sense white of innocence faces. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. you're gonna make a you're gonna make a Star Trek movie, and they they're like you have to put two people in. It. You have to put Robert Downey Jr. and Johnny Depp in it. Here's okay. here's God. here's what I'm gonna do. Robert Downey Jr. is playing Worf, dude, in blackface. Oh. Uh, <laughs> two. No, Robert Downey Jr. is playing his character from Tropic Thunder, yes. playing Worf yes, yes. in Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's and, the safest way to do it. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, and then, um, and so then, up. and then Johnny Depp is fucking dated, dude. No, like, Johnny, you're gonna no, say he's no, no. yeah. He's like Johnny Depp, Depp with white paint Johnny on Depp his face. will play Chakotay <laughs> from Voyager because Chakotay no is spoilers, a native, dude. No po- spoilers, he's a, dude. He's a Native American character. God damn it, Marvin! <laughs> you keep doing this. That's to me, not dude. a spoiler. Johnny that's Depp just a character. He's no, he not Native American. American. He's yeah. not. Well, he so was, why did he play so many? Yeah, why did he play one in the fucking movie? I don't know. What was that movie? Because people are terrible. I don't. The Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger, right? Yes. Um. Okay. So. So, so anyway, Beverly's like, oh, we gotta, we gotta take this guy, help him. We're, oh my God, dude, we're barely in the fucking <laughs> 10 minutes of this episode. And he's yeah. like, hey, we, we gotta, we gotta, Breaker's like, we gotta bone out of here, dude. These dudes are, are dying. And Beverly's like, dude, this dude's not dead. This robot, Edward Scissorhand, is just, it's, he's, he's about to be dead. But if, if I, I, I could just help him a little bit and then maybe they'll come get him. And then they're like, no, we don't, there's no fucking time. Beverly, you piece of shit. And well, they also tell her that uh, it's too late. Yep, we're already here. We've had the presence, and that's why yeah. Worf says, "Oh, make it look like an accident," and then they yeah. kill him. He's like, he's like, put 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 him in the driver's seat. Like he's drunk. Give him. Yeah. Well, he starts involved. like touching him, and that's yeah. like the official start of like, well, we can't go back on anything now. I'm yeah. Team Worf here, by the way. Just he's like, like a, he's like a baby yeah. rabbit. You, it's already got look, your scent on it. Your, I your mother won't take it back. I understand yeah. where the episode ends up at, right? But I still think they were wrong. Because the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Just because Beverly wants to be fucking saving hoes, you know what I mean? Captain Save a Ho, you can't be, you have to look out for the entirety of the human race. You know, I think dangerous. part of the, I think they wanted to go a little bit for the angle of like, this is just a young Borg. Like, this is just a boy Borg. I get but it. The actor that they chose doesn't seem all that young to me. Yeah. Well, no, that's he because seems he's, like he's in his 20s or 30s. Well, it's because he's yeah. aged up from the age Wesley was supposed to be when the show started. So that's why. Also, like a, a small cobra and a big cobra are still a cobra. They'll still bite you and fucking make you die. You <laughs> mean, well, like, my my point being is that they write, the, the, the episode is written to like portray him as a young Borg. Like yeah, a particularly yeah, no, young. Well, they board. should have 100%. made him like a toddler then, or something. Like. They should have. They should have gotten a uh, Pachenko. Well, they said like, uh, like Beverly explicitly yeah. said adolescent, right? Right. And that was like you know supposed to imply that doesn't really that, play into making me feel more sorry for him or not. <laughs> but I think that's how that's why Beverly felt more sorry for this one. Is my point? It's like you know, it's it's like my son. I think. I don't think. I think it does too, though. That the fact that mm. it's it's a child. If it was a it's child, not a child though. What is a well, child? Well, okay, my what point is that he doesn't look 18? young enough. Like 
pl- feel what free is- to pl- feel free to play that angle, but make him look younger than that. Yeah, he doesn't look young enough to be considered a child. But I think their intent was for him to be a child. He looks though. like yeah, a young adult. Yeah, I say that it didn't. The execution was a bit off. Their intent, I think, he's, he's probably too old they probably intended him f- to be like fifteen or something. He looks like oh, seventeen. No. He, he looks, looks like 17. twenty. Twenty. Yeah. My point is that he doesn't look it. I think because he actually is, and right, right. They're they're probably retroactively casting from the fact that he was supposed to be Wesley and Wesley when hired was also still like when Will Wheaton was hired, he already was looking too old. Why would they be clinging to those age ranges five, six years later? I don't know. (laughs) They seem to, they seem to always have trouble deciding. That sounds like BS Marvin, but it's, they seem to always have trouble deciding how children should act. Like they, they, this seems to be like a running theme of the way they write children in general. Parental issues goes back to my parental <laughs> issues. Like they, they just don't know how kids act or how they should be. So I think that's part of the issue is that they, they seem to yeah. have a I mean, bad bottom line is he doesn't look under the age of 18, in my opinion. That's just I agree me. with that. Huh? So what does the Borg do with babies? Like say they're enslaving the humanity. Oh, right? yeah. They, they they showed it in um, Hiding Q or, or Deja Q. They showed they like had an infant Borg. They had an they infant just Borg up in a drawer, drawer and there was a Borg oh, baby yeah, in it. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, right, you're, right, you're right. right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And basically, they're, they're still allowed to procreate or even then, I think they might oh. even clone them. Oh. And then, uh, or they may just capture more. Like and the then, traditional way? Like egg sperm I think actually, I think, I, think, I think that may be either done he's artificially a, or they might just be doing a straight up he's clone. A, he's a, sure. Tim, Tim, what, 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 what are you doing today? Commenters, correct us here. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah. we need some Borg intel. It's definitely, there's, they, they definitely have some means of continuing procreation. Do you think the way they meet is that they're like, we are fucking... And then they all started just like having an orgy. Yeah. Well, I do. So like a ball of snakes. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> like, In man. the middle of the cube, they're all just like, it should be a snake. Yeah. It should be a snake cube. <laughs> they're, they're, they do a Borg centipede and they're all just like, fuck. <laughs> Ew. Okay. I'm getting grossed out. I'm getting grossed out. Why? Well, I think what happens is in whatever way they create a new organic baby, as soon as the baby's born, they start attaching robots bought shit to it like right away <laughs> it, that's, it seems to be the case based on what we saw in the baby in in the drawer so, I guess so, so. the borg are human they have a, a human brain they have yeah. blood they, they have all have an, they all started from some sort of organic they're able alien. to yeah. die yes do we ever see non-humanoid borg well, I can't. I guess I that's yeah. no that's comment. A, no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's um, just odd to me that so far all we've seen are like very human looking Borg. So I have a feeling that when they designed the Borg, they were like, oh, yeah, just put a bunch of robot shit on people. Right. But right. I don't think they took into account that, oh, the type of species Borg have assimilated would probably be alien. So they right. should be like like a Bajoran Borg and a Cardassian Borg. Yeah, and maybe something. Yeah, they didn't they didn't think about it. Or just something okay. completely different. <laughs> but I think maybe the maybe the, maybe the majority of Borg we're seeing are human because remember we saw in season one how entire colonies started going missing for, and they were human colonies. So maybe that's why. You know what I was also thinking? Right. Like if you could pick any physical form. Is the human form the most efficient form? No, to no, 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 no. So, like, you know, <laughs> Get me these out aliens, of this fucking thing. <laughs> you know how these alien species is always like they all look humanoid, but it's like, is that really the best option? Would the it most be cooler to have form. four legs or five arms and maybe? Bigger eyes. The most efficient something. form is probably like a centaur or something. You know, you have the hands, but you have the stability of four yeah, legs. And, and the dick of a horse. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's exactly. ba- it was a, that's a win, win, win. Uh, so, you know. Nice. That might- <laughs> well, okay. good to know. Because that's what I always think of when I watch these type of episodes. I'm like, gosh, if I could pick anything, maybe I would. I don't know if I'd pick this body. Yeah. I'd be a ghost. Yeah. Also, yeah. the, the one of the, the one of the things with the Borg, as we all always say, is that is it really that efficient to attach all that shit to your arms and stuff? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. What are you talking about? True. Looks cool. Yeah. Shut like, up. If I could pick any form, I'd be Venom. Venom. You know, it's fun, like because yeah. Sarah and I were yeah, noticing at the like at the end of the episode when the this is, we're jumping slightly ahead, but we'll jump back. But at the end, at the end, when they all beam down and they start walking around trying to gather Borg stuff. You could tell that their outfits are so restricting. They can't like fully lift their leg to go up hills. <laughs> so they're all like kind of like waddling up and down hills. 
And you're like, yeah. this can't be a fish. As robots do. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's th- those scenes made me wonder, is this really the most efficient physical form? This is Absolutely. the best way to Could we look do better? at them. <laughs> Could we do better in the snow, in the snowy planet when they're going to retrieve their, their dead friends? They're like, you, you may not like it, but that's to... what it is. That's, this is what. That's peak physical form. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you may so. not like I it. mean, they got those, they got those abs built in right yeah. there. Yeah. When you get assimilated, your abs get shredded. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you are issued shredded abs. Picard too. Remember his abs were shredded. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Looks, the abs too. Oh, okay. He had standard okay. issue pa- shredded yeah. abs. Picard, Borg Picard is like fucking hot he's like <laughs> I've said this before but he's nah, hot it's bias <laughs> Borg Picard is just like yeah that's he's like, very bottom heavy it's very <laughs> yeah and it's very they appealing. gave him thick legs and thick abs but then love his top it. stayed normal love it <laughs> love it ideal form uh, ideal form is thick at the bottom thin at the top that's what we my, yeah, my love did. language is locutus <laughs> <laughs> your love language is robot shit glued on to a person yeah. <laughs> your, your love language is, is Edward Scissorhand <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah I'll take it yeah uh, it. Um, that was Winona Ryder's love language yeah sure. she yeah. loved it oh yeah <laughs> Um. So anyway, Beverly's like, we can't leave this dude here. We're still in fucking. <laughs> uh, look, they take him up. They take him yeah, up. They take, take him up. They take, take him up. up. They kick him up. And, and they, they try trying to fuck they, the walls. He's trying to fuck the walls. Yeah, he's because he's in the brig. They don't take him to medical. Yeah, he's trying to finger bang the walls, like yes. trying to charge up. He's like, he's uh, trying to plug does in. Anybody have a, does anybody have a lightning cable? Um, <laughs> That's kind of, yeah, he just keeps rubbing, going, yeah. where's yeah. the ports? Yeah, he's like a mime. Where's he's my like phone charger? Uh, what and kind of finally, shit doesn't have a USB port? He, yeah, and then give him an anchor battery, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And everyone's like, fuck this guy, dude, we, gotta, we gotta get him out of here. And they're like, no, you know, like, they're all discussing it. And finally, like, they all kind of start turning, right? So, like, first it's Jordy. Jordy, be, like, befriends him, and he's like... Well, he's like, their initial plan right away is to use him as a Trojan horse for a virus. Yeah, yeah, To, to, right, to right. like, put a bomb up his Like, butt. Picard, that's Picard's idea, like, yeah. instantly. He's like, we and, can kill them all now. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, 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 they, and they're like, they're like, uh, hey, dude, uh, what's your name, dude? And he's like, we are Groot. And we're like, yeah, yeah, but who are you, dude? And he keeps saying, we are Groot. And he keeps saying, we, the royal we. And yeah. then finally, like, they break him down. And then Jordy's treating him. And then he's like, like, he's like, what do you guys have names? And he's like, oh, I want Beverly. And this dude's Jordy. What's your name? And he's like, we are no name. And he's like, okay, well, what what would you want your name to be? And he should have said Tim, dude. He's like, I am Tim. But he didn't. <laughs> he said, uh, he's he's like, who? He's like, who? And they hold, they do a whole routine, like, who's on third, dude? And <laughs> they end up with Hugh, dude. I kind of hate how they I, land I don't on his like name. It it's, it's awful. It's like, you, I like it. You. I, I, no, hate it. You. I hate it. I was like, no, I hate I it. I thought cute. it was so, Cause, no, it's cheesy. It, it should have been no Hutus. Because <laughs> he's a human. Get it? That's why his name is Hugh. I want to listen no. to our well, robot. Where's the man part? No. The man is, he's the man. The man's in the- <laughs> No, yeah. you, you made your own pun out of this and then liked it too much. <laughs> yeah. You're the man. No, no, get no, out of here. Get out of here. I like it. I like um, you. You like your pun, not the name. <laughs> I don't like it. It's cheesy. Yeah. I don't like the I name. I like Hugh. <laughs> I hate it. I prefer Sam Dude. <laughs> you. And he, it, it, they should have said, I am the dude. So that's what you call me. Or El Durino. I am the dude hard. Lebowski, not the Call big the Lebowski. Dude. <laughs> or your dudeness. Or if you're not into the whole brevity thing. So <laughs> I love this. I love this robot so voice. They finally like befriend him and he's like, Oh, Jordy's my pal, Jordy's my friend. And they start talking and like everyone he starts turning everybody. So first uh he first is Jordy. Well, originally it's it's Beverly, and I fucking hate her for it. I hate her. I I get why they wrote it. I understand, but I hate mm-hmm. it. Uh, and then it's Jordy, and then they get Picard on board, and eventually he gets. Uh, well, so it's Guinan oh, next, Guinan, yeah. because yeah. because Jordy actually. That's right. It's it, I like the scene with Guinan because it's a subversion of the type of scene that normally happens with Guinan. Because usually people She's go to Guinan. Accepting. She's very accepting. Not just that, but like they are looking for advice. And Guinan just shuts him down and says, I have no advice to give you. Fuck you. I don't want to talk to I you. Kinda yeah. love, I kind of love it that she yeah. came up with it's so great. Like she was just like, fuck the Borg. Fuck this. I can't believe you guys are even entertaining this. Yeah. Like, yeah there's she, a, there's I've a, never seen her act like that before. There's a whole yeah. fencing scene between her and yeah. Picard. And Le- she Le- uses that as a metaphor to be like, you let your guard down. I got to kill you. 
Yeah. What's going to happen with the Borg, you know? Yeah, it's when like, you can lay your dick down. Uh, <laughs> so here's the thing. Here, Let me tell you about what I hate about this episode before we get to it. As soon as they bring a Borg on the ship, mm-hmm. I'm Riker, and I'm going, Data, you're on Picard duty, dude. I don't oh, want yes. I don't want him to like be turned on like the Manchurian candidate. Ooh, you know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. Like Riker t- like Riker should cuz in the last episode with where he turned into L- Loquacious. Just, yeah. Um uh <laughs> he said, "Hey dude, we're going to keep an eye on you, bro." And he sh- immediately should they should have been on on Hyler dude and like Data, you know how the captain acts, dude. Yes, you can, like you can let him. It. He's still the captain. Yeah, but if something happens, you know what tell to us. do. Yeah, yeah, tell us or tell tell Worf, and he'll fucking yeah, karate yeah. chop him. Or um, tell Beverly. Beverly can use her medical officer abilities to have him relieve rank. the duty. Yeah, parlay, then, parlay. Yeah, yeah then, um, that's and true. So that's true. That's immediately, true. I would have been like that. I would have told Data to, to keep an eye on him and be like, don't actually let them talk alone. And mm-hmm. they did let them talk alone, dude. Yeah. So he actually. Mm-hmm. So so okay. So they so just to go through really quick, they know Guinan is Guinan gets convinced, and she gets convinced quite fast, actually. Yeah. She has one meeting with him where because Hugh talks with Jordy, and the the main thing Hugh misses about being with the cube is that he misses all the voices. Basically, he misses the hive mind. And he's feeling very lonely, which is why he's latching on to Jordy, because Jordy is the only other person he talks to regularly. He mm-hmm. basically doesn't want to be alone. And that's the way he cuts through to Guinan, because Guinan is also alone, like one of the last of her own race, and probably hasn't seen another El Orion for a very long time. Right. And that's how they relate to each other. He goes, Oh, you are also alone. I am also alone. And well, she it's re- like it's it, she seems like taken aback that he can even feel alone. Like- yes. Yeah, it's it's not the fact yeah, that he yeah. that they're finding common ground. It's like what the fuck? You have feelings at all? You can feel the same yeah. way I do. He's, That's he's, nuts. He starts singing. <laughs> when he's he's like, one is the loneliest number that you'll ever see. And um, yeah, <laughs> and, and they start singing and, together. Yes, yeah, and 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 Kaylin's like, fuck, dude, like poor guy, dude. He's alone. He's a kid, dude. But I hate how fast it turns. But here's the other things I hate. So one, we got to watch Picard, dude, because. As soon as they leave him alone with the thing, he's like, "Oh, heal Hydra, dude!" And and and, 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 and he he starts testing the you the, think the guy. Like Sarah thought for a second that's what I was did. happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Well, right? when he does I mean, the whole they fake write out it that scene, way. they write yeah. it that way to make you think like, "Oh shit, look, Lacutus is still hidden in there," you know? Yes. Like, and he's when he's really, I guess it's written to be like, "Oh, Picard's just playing," you know? But is he? But I think they are trying to trick you a bit too they, into can thinking I, that. I, look, another thing I hate the name like, like what Laquisha. Locutus? Locutus? Locutus. It's a stupid name, dude. Well, Locutus actually means something in Latin. It means the one who speaks. So that's why. Yeah, I get it. But they all speak. They're all group. Well, he was supposed to be their liaison Mm -hmm. to to interact with humanity. That's why they chose Picard. They they should have been like, your robot name is Picardus. Picardus. Picardus (laughs) Picardus or something, you know? What do we think about um, Hugh recognizing um, I think Picard. that's fascinating. I yeah, think it's it's it. super he, he says, "Oh shit, Lacutus! Hey, what's yeah, up?" And he you know? he's yeah, and he's shocked. He's he goes, I'm like, oh, like big fan. Yeah, he's a, he, <laughs> yeah, he's big, a, fan. Yeah. big yeah. fan, big fan, big yeah. fan, big fan. We cannot stop talking about you. By we, the way, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're doing excellent work here. You <laughs> are my childhood, <laughs> Lacutus. I mean, you that, are that was kind of that was kind of alarming to me. Like I was like, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. They know him. They yeah. know him even when he's not connected to the Borg. I'm well, right. Yeah, it's, suppo- it's supposed to be a s- kind of a scary moment. Yeah, I that think. is a scary yeah. moment. Honestly, I, w- yeah. I would have yeah. shot the, the captain if I'm Picard. Yeah, I would have been like, oh, fuck. <laughs> immediately like, like fuck this dude. Yeah, the test would have been like, show Hugh Picard and say, who is this? And they say, oh, that's the cutest. Bam, both dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill both of them. Yeah, Kill both. absolutely, one hundred percent. No questions asked. Yeah, I show them one of those things. You know, the balls are hanging, and you, you pull one, and then it you know, like knocks them. It's like. Tick, 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 tick. Uh-huh. You know what I'm about? Yeah, yeah. I show yeah, them yeah. that, and they freak. They freak out, and they fucking die because yeah. they can't figure out. They're like, "How is this happening?" Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> or you give him the test that Trump took. Bird, <laughs> man, computer. <laughs> and they freak out. And they die. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but but here's the thing is that they are too trusting. I don't like it. And then my other complaint is that they had dude, the uh, the board almost wiped out humanity, mm-hmm. right? They, they were on a on a course. They to sure fucking, got close. Yeah. Yes, they got very close. Yeah. And now you got this guy on the, on the fucking ship. Unattended. And no, and, unattended. unattended. 
you're not He's watching not Picard. Head. No, they no, leave Picard. him in rooms Picard is, and stuff. Picard is. Yeah. Oh, oh, Picard. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. No, but uh, the Borg too. They leave him. No, the, around. no he, he's, he's always, always under guard. He's otherwise. always has no, a guard. No, there's one scene where they leave him in. Uh, you one may of not the see the guard, but there's a guard there. Oh, okay, well, still. Uh, uh, I don't only, it's only close up. It's only a close up of it. So still, way too here's, uncomfortable. Here's my here's my my complaint about Picard is that by far this is the biggest danger to humanity, dude. Right, and to the Federation. Period. And he's like, you know what it's time for? Fucking fencing. <laughs> <laughs> he always fucking goes listen, fencing when listen, everything yeah. is about to fucking go to listen, shit. Listen, every time he needs to think deep thoughts, he'll go fencing. Okay, it's his, it's it's his angry dome. It's his <laughs> uh, like pa- it's what he does instead of pacing. This is what he does. If I he don't needs like to it. Think. Dude. Some it, people need to go it, boxing when they need to think. You know, some people need to go on a run. Picard fences. That's what he does. Yeah, it's some his people chamber take a of shower. understanding. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I, I, I don't. I, hate I don't it. find that inexplicable. I think it's more inexplicable in Measure of a Man because he's supposed to. He has precious time to be studying with data. <laughs> True, <laughs> but then he spends that fencing. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in this, it's like he has no specific objective so he does have time to think therefore uh, like yeah. there's a minor ticking time clock with the approaching borg cube which yes. he didn't know of yes, until dude. after the fencing scene but he, right, okay, he fences again go. he fences twice dude <laughs> what doesn't he only fences once what are you talking no, about twice dude what are you talking about there's it only one like, fencing scene it feels like it's twice <laughs> um, there's so, only one fencing scene <laughs> here's my other complaint here's my other complaint why not hook up data to this borg dude dude like let him fucking put his dick in him you know what i mean <laughs> And and see what he what he digs up, dude. Data? I mean, it, do, it does seem weird. That they've never tried that. Yeah, he's like data, and also no one, no one like asks like like no one asks data. Do you feel like you want to fuck a lady Borg, dude? You know <laughs> what? <laughs> Why yeah. would they ask him that? I don't because, know. Like, because yeah. that makes sense. He's a robot. Yeah. What? Why does that make sense? I don't know. Just to test them. <laughs> like, have he, they ever he, even he, seen a Lady Borg? Like, why would that be a question the, yet? Yeah, they do. They they saw one on the ship. There's too many Lady Borgs on the ship. When they when they go to the <laughs> the the Borg cube, the big one. There was Lady Borgs there. We got to make little I'm baby sure. Borgs. I don't yeah. Know that. Anyway, sure. so that's my my next complaint. But then, like, they, they this dude's fencing. He's out fucking. He's out making tea and relaxing and and like. <laughs> it, 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 I just don't like it. Dude. Going into a sexy pajamas when guy yeah, visits. Yeah. yeah and yeah. and that's so weird that he's like just relaxing and he's like no and like and at no point is he like fuck like i we had a call uh the galactic empire what is it what is it called the federation it's galactic empire yeah. <laughs> <laughs> galactic empire we we call the, the galactic the, empire <laughs> <laughs> they they didn't call home you know what i mean like, i am the federation of planets <laughs> I <laughs> am Starfleet. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I am Lucius. Um, um, so, yes. so fucking, they, they never. How are they able to sleep or Polarink. relax with this, I know. With this Borg they probably, around? They probably should have phoned the Federation and right? then like, so, what, least, so, we got yeah. a, so we got a Borg. What's what a, should we what's do? The protocol? Yeah. <laughs> here's the thing. Oh, here's should the thing. Should we drop him off at a star base? Or what like, should we do? No, like, you know? like, dude, like, this is what we should do. We're gonna take this kid. They're gonna try to find him. Yeah. First of all, don't they block the the the? Don't they use they like block his homing blockers? signals? Yeah, the homing right? signals block, so they have no worry about so this then, signal leaking. Then, and, then what does it matter? They should just haul ass, take him to the Federation. Well, so. Because uh, he wants s- to go home. But also, yeah. several people say, yeah. including Hugh, that if they don't find him there, they will look forever. They will keep look because of their blinders on nature. The Borg will constantly be trying to find him. They will probably try to like scan the whole area, try to figure out who is here, follow the breadcrumbs, dude, or always dude. chasing to f- find him. Yeah, it It'll would be, be like, never ending. No, 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 it's fine, Borg. dude. It's fine. It's fine. But in the meantime, tell you what. These ships don't run out of gas, dude. You they do actually. Keep, they literally run going. out of gas. <laughs> then, then do a little cannonball run. Jump on another fucking car, dude. I don't know, dude. Here's the thing: is that like this wasn't well thought out, dude. You got to keep this guy and study him, dude, and see what the deal is. Oh, I'm the opposite. If, I'm like, get him the fuck no, away no. from we here. No, no, we need to study him and see if we could. How do no. we like immediately? It goes against human nature, dude. Because the, I mean, they are the studying things, him. The They're studying now, him the whole time. <laughs> even now. 
we're like, how do we exploit AI and can we fuck it? No one in the enterprise is saying, <laughs> how do we fuck these dudes? Can we fuck them? I'm sure Jordy has they don't, a side those, holodeck But the see, all of those, all of their, you're misunderstanding because all of their desires for weird fucks are covered by the holodeck. That's no yeah. longer a frontier they need to explore anymore. Marvin, they we, can we, ha- we have porn and yet we, we, we don't have the Ricardo. The holodeck is I nowhere get it. near. I get it, dude. I get it, dude. <laughs> no, but Marvin, you know what? There's no ceiling high enough. You know I what know, I mean? Dude. Like, Th- you rather just no, yeah. more. I think you're right about that. That's a human nature thing. Yeah. yeah. Dude. <laughs> There's no Dan, ceiling uh, high enough. I mean, the weirder Marvin, just Marvin. gets normal after yeah. a while. Listen, you know? Marvin. Listen, Boy, listen does Linda. It ever. Linda, yeah. Linda. Linda. <laughs> listen, not dude. Linda. <laughs> Linda, please. It, we always <laughs> want <laughs> something better. It, you think fucking a hologram? We're gonna be settled for that when we could fuck a robot, dude. No, yeah, we're not gonna right? settle. We're gonna go with a robot. Dude. Nah, yeah. go Blade Runner on a hologram enhanced robot. Yes, yeah. uh, dude. I'm I'm just saying, like we. I mean, no one's asking yeah, the hard sky's questions. The limit, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so everybody's on board, and they're like, "Well, anyway, well, what do we do with this dude?" And they're like, and "I like that he's like, oh, what's up with the eyepiece?" And he's like, "Oh, here, take it." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that moment. Yeah. Um, Please have my It is kind of sick though. They did the prosthetic underneath. It's just a gaping eye hole and that is like It's like a like a terminator hole. Yeah, it's great. They did a great yeah. job with that. Yeah. yeah, it looks great. Yeah. yeah. And so they basically ask him like, "Dude, what do we do? Do you want to go? Do you want to stay here? You seem like you like your name now. You like music. You're listening well, okay. to Creed now." Well, there's the part cuz the part where Picard is convinced. The whole scene is interesting because uh, Hugh refers to him as Locutus and yeah. Picard decides to go, oh, this is my chance to see what you really are. Yeah. Finally, I get to method act. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he pretends to be Locutus again yeah. and tries to recruit him into assimilating the ship. And the re- the thing that convinces Picard, you, despite Hugh constantly fighting back and Picard doesn't buy it, he only buys it the moment Hugh refers to himself as I. He goes, I will not. Yes. I will not do this. Yeah. He says, I am Spartacus. <laughs> um, you know what's and interesting? By the end, he explicitly at least states I am Hugh. Yes. Yeah. Instead of whatever this is, else. This, this is a lot like, like the, the, look, I don't want to bring it back to the other franchise, but but he's like, like Picard's kind of like, dude, I'm the fucking emperor, dude. And I'm <laughs> Palpatine, dude. And and then and then Hugh could have been like, I alone could bring balance. You know what I mean? And and he's like, oh, bingo. He's not, he's, what is what is it called? If you're not assimilated, what's the opposite? Desimulated? Destimulated? What's going on? What's the word? Normal? What, excommunicated? <laughs> excommunicated. <laughs> yeah. But then he's kind of Devil's playground. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so he's like, he's like, okay, I believe him now. He's, he's, he's Hugh, Hugh, uh, Hugh, uh, Hefner. And, and they ask him, Hugh, what do you want to do? Do you want to stay? You want to go? What do you want to do? And we're, he's we're like, not going to give you the virus anymore. You yeah, know, don't yeah. worry about no that. No virus. But. We're going to take it out of your butt. What's amazing, though, is they're willing to grant him, they're willing to grant Hugh yeah. asylum right. like, I think, and I stay think on the ship. But I think it's because that's always their protocol. I think the yeah. moment they know of someone who is definitely their own he's person. A, he's a Borg. But they also know that he's his own person now. So yeah. he has the right because to request asylum. Because he said so? Yeah. That's that sentience. That's self actualization. Why, why, yeah. why can't the, a Borg be they, programmed to fool you no, to be sentient? They they can't, dude. They can't lie, dude. That's the thing. I the Borg know. do have such blinders on yeah. that they can't actually deviate from. And I think Picard realizes this, having been a Borg previously. Yeah. This this one also note that I thought was really neat is that when they capture Hugh, or at the point at that point he's still three of five, and they start like trying to analyze him. Picard goes, "No, he's going to act this way because of this, and he's going to try to do this." Yeah, like he he's has still, foreknowledge now. I, yeah, he, I, he has the knowledge of how the Borg know still, do things still. And that, you know, it gives him validity to his feelings about how the Borg are going to act. Like he's like, it also fuels any uneasiness you might have when he gets referred to as Locutus. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's and a it's reminder. Like, oh, shit. That, well, I mean, like, well, yeah. yeah, he does kind of know a lot about Borg still. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he does know a lot of Borg stuff, though. The, the captain. So he should, he should know, like, oh, yeah. this, guy, this guy fucks with humans now. But now I have a question, like, he basically he's like, oh, I think it's safer for you guys if I stay and uh, you're my friends. I don't want them to take Jordy because he's my pal. The rest of you could die. But Jordy, he's a pervert <laughs> just like me, dude. Um, and we both want to be weird together. And so he's like, I want to get dropped off, dude. But yeah. again, I don't understand why they don't put a virus in him to, like, Fuck with the other one. Like, don't kill them all, but just like change them a little bit. You know what I mean? 
I think it might be because they, I think it's a similar way they were thinking back when the crystal and entity came back. Too many crystals. Crystal. I don't know which one you're talking about. Remember the one that was sucking the life crystal off of Christmas planets? tree? Yeah, it was sucking life off of planets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that crazy scientist came on board. It's like, we have to kill it right away. And yeah. then Picard was like, was uh, right. hang on. It's a, probably a sentient life form. I would argue that it's just eating. We should try to talk with it and like reason with it, right? Yeah. I think this episode is sort of getting to the similar point. So, True. So Picard sort of... And Guinan both, and rightfully so. They're not just they're not unjustified in feeling this way. They are so traumatized by their yeah. experiences with the Borg that they're like, fuck these guys, nothing to yeah. do with them, right? Let's kill them. They're not being they're not following their ideals. Yeah. But I think by interacting they with They don't believe you, the same thing we believe in, so let's kill them. <laughs> I, kind of. That's yeah. kind of the 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 analogy a bit. And well, at He's, first, their beliefs are their entire deal is killing us, so we can't let them live. Right. And now- That's their belief. Got, now, that, now that they've gotten to know Hugh, they go, okay, so Hugh is his own person. Because yeah. of that, we can't just trick him into doing this shit to the rest of his, essentially, species. Because yeah. the Borg are essentially a species. A parasitic I mean, species, but a species still. So this is essentially like, kind of like- Nazi shit if we did that. You know what I mean? It's like they I think part of it also is that once they have realized that Hugh can be individualized, they are potentially killing off a ton of people who could also one day be individualized. You're condemning a lot of millions, maybe billions of people to death over a fear and that we don't understand them yet. So I think that's kind of the point that they're at where they're like, okay, th there is clearly a point of return. Like we've already proved it with Picard. Picard was de-assimilated. He was literally a full Borg and they brought him back and he was okay. Mm -hmm. And with Hugh, even though he's been assimilated his whole life. <laughs> Picard's uh, like, I I I I've caught full blown <laughs> Borg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the card caught full blown Borg, but survived. And you know, never really leaves you, man. <laughs> yeah. And Hugh, yeah. despite living as a Borg his whole life, is still self actualizing as an individual person. Yeah. So that probably is them being like, we can't just condemn all of them to death just because it's a better, an easier solution. The yeah, easier so solution is. It's encapsulated yeah. after that act break, after lo quote unquote Locutus and Hugh have their talk, like Picard's in his conference room with the rest of the crew. And he's basically like, I was trying to not let myself see that he could be a person, but you <laughs> fuckers made me talk to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was like, I was avoiding this the whole episode. And now <laughs> I have to talk. Now that I talk to him. Now I feel bad. God so options. Damn it. What are the options? Give me options. <laughs> uh. <laughs> And I do like that they uh, they discuss the options pretty practically. Riker's like, we could just put it back, see what happens, and then yeah, you know, <laughs> he's, uh, he's uh, we could try Worf's idea, which is basically the ending to the movie The Son in Law with Pauly Shore, which is like <laughs> we put him in the driver's seat and say he was fucking, while he was <laughs> and he crashed, dude. Um, <laughs> And then there's a there's someone brings up yeah. the the option of wiping his memories. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, right. the, but then they're like, we can't do that because that removes his individuality. Yeah. So, and also, and then they conclude, well, well, the Borg would also do that probably. Yeah. Like anyway, they would they could potentially wipe his memory if they see anything anomalous in his behavior. Yeah. yeah. So, when he starts singing fucking Kiss from Rose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen Batman 89? <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, that's He's Batman like, Forever. Oh, no, God. Batman Forever. Yeah, dude, right, come on, right, dude. Right, right, Get it right, right dude. Right. That's Joel Schumacher. Yeah. Don't be smirking. That's Val Kilmer. Joel Schumacher. That's Val Kilmer. Very different. Um, yeah. And I. Sarah and I were watching that music video the other day, and Sarah so was just. Good. Sarah was so just good. like, this is the best. This is just the best. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> da, 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 da. I was. I was impressed. I think Sarah was saying essentially like they can't make a music video like this anymore. No. This is no, impossible. No. No. Well, Joel Schumacher is dead, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what? So good. Joel Schumacher is dead. What? Joel Schumacher is dead. Joel like, Schumacher actually dead? I think so. I don't think so, dude. <laughs> Joel Schumacher is dead, dude. All right. Oh, he is. Little... Oh, shit. He is I dead. I told you Oh, guys, my God. Wait, wow. when did that happen? Ricardo was actually correct about someone being dead. <laughs> I've never been more pettily upset at finding out that someone is dead. 
uh, he, he died in 2020 from cancer. You know why we didn't hear mm-hmm. about it? Cause we were in deep into COVID that his death probably just got mixed up with all the other people who died. And yeah. We, uh, just, yeah, that, we had a hive mind back then. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, all right, guys. Well, so, so here's the thing. Well, if we did, we would have gotten out of it a little faster. Yeah, <laughs> if we would have, uh, uh, Joel Schumacher was the key to, to getting out of COVID. <laughs> And we, we let him die. If Joel, if Joel um, Schumacher hadn't made Batman and Robin, COVID would never have happened. Probably. And uh, <laughs> probably. Dang it. Yeah. Val Kilmer would still be alive. Um, so what? Is here's Val Kilmer's dead? <laughs> we, we can't do this, guys. Come on, dude. <laughs> then stop fucking saying people are dead, Ricardo. He's alive. Val Kilmer's totally alive. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you got to oh, quit boy. giving us hooks. <laughs> We latch them. We latch. Especially when they're shocking. Like when you say someone's dead. <laughs> oh my God. We aren't the problem here. Did you know? I think, I think Seal's dead too. No, no, no. Seal, no. Seal, Seal, Seal's alive. definitely alive. alive. Seal's definitely alive. He's, uh, no, don't, don't joke about that. Yeah, he still hasn't, he still hasn't yeah. fulfilled his duty to evolve into do gong gong gong. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing is there needs to uh, drop a, he needs to drop a, he needs to drop a sequel to the to, to kiss from rose dude yeah so good it's part the best two song ever. like a second kiss the second we've been talking about fucking seal and kiss from rose for like four or five minutes by now <laughs> so good <laughs> all right guys seriously so i think well they bring him there's, back there's they, a they lot of faults yeah they bring him back they they, they but jordy like, goes with him so jordy yeah. gets to have a final goodbye and and and, and i don't understand that they're like oh the only like big groups of people if it just one like they're, they're fucking attention whores like they're, they're like <laughs> if there's one dude they don't care but if there's more if it's a crowd they're fucking horned up about it well yeah yeah, yeah. that, that is a, a really a, weird like I, I can't quite work out how this works it doesn't I make think, sense. It doesn't well, make I sense. I think because they established that in the original Deja Q. That, right. Like, and it was something that they were willing to exploit for the sake of this sentimental moment. Yeah. yeah and and I think it's lame. like it's like a tool you can use so that you can. It's kind of like the zombie thing where you can. There's a tension of the zombie being right there, but you can't. But they don't notice you. Right. Right. You know, so that's kind of, I think, what yeah. they want to do with the Borg in general, where, you know. If you're saying Kiss from Rose, they ignore you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you <laughs> you just have to go around singing. Yeah, if you live, yeah. if you ne- live near a waterfall, <laughs> While you're on the they'll cube. never attack you. Yeah, but yeah. instead, let's live in a house where the smallest noise sounds super loud. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's. I fucking hate that movie for that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Wait, which movie? Uh, the movie where where John Krasinski and they all need to be quiet. Uh, quiet. Oh, yeah, a quiet, quiet place. place. Quiet, quiet, quiet place. Yeah, don't well, live it. Hey, yeah. if you live in a world where being loud causes enemies to come after you, don't live in a quiet place. <laughs> live near the waterfall. Where, or by the beach. Or in the movie, they demonstrated you could make noise by living near the waterfall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they fucking live there then. <laughs> like, why are you living in this house? <laughs> Water's yeah. too dangerous. It fucking made me yeah. so pissed off. The, the, I was enjoying the, the movie until that waterfall scene. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even put a cool like treasure or power behind it. <laughs> Like they're like, oh, it's just dangerous to live up here because there's a lot of bears. Uh, <laughs> they, they didn't uh, even make something up. Um, so anyway, no, this episode, yeah. this episode was like it was fun and everything, but I'm still like at a seven and a half for me. Mm, okay, yeah. I'm what at you, I'm at a, a, I'm at a seven and a half too. I okay, think, I think that feels fair for me. Okay, it I was like good it. though. It was good. No, I really liked the emotional journey that it took and the performances therein. So I was willing to give this one a nine. Okay. Damn, oh my dude. god, damn. Well, you know what? Damn, damn uh, Daniel. So I d- because everyone kept saying don't spoil anything. What I would r- was I was going to say don't, last don't week. Don't spoil if I could, it, dude. Don't say it. Don't say it. Was that <laughs> I Borg is actually one of my favorite episodes. Oh my god. Marvin, Marvin, you, you keep saying that, dude. So I, I would believe actually, you did. I, would, I mean, this is the first time you've listeners. said it like after we've already seen yeah, the episode yeah. and given that, I understand uh, why. And it, it's you know why? And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, my God. Oh my I, God. Actually, up, I actually man. think this Shut is... the fuck up. This Iborg is an encapsulation no. of what Star Trek is really about, in my opinion, which is mm-hmm. you have a moral quandary with great performances and great character moments that are true to character histories. 
I think that yeah. makes Star Trek really good. And I like that a lot of the episode, first of all, I think, uh, what's his, what's the actor's name? Uh, J- Jonathan Del Arco. He has a fabulous job. John Krasinski. He does. Uh, yeah. I think I read a tidbit, which I think makes the perform like the performance of him transitioning from full Borg to almost human Borg is really good. And yeah. the way they did it is the, the director, Robert Laterman and him came up with the system. Uh, they ranked a Borg to human performance on a scale. So if you're full huh. Borg, you're one. If you're full human, you're a 10. And later men would tell him, hey, you just gave me a six performance. I need an eight, you know? So that's how they kind of tuned his performance to show that, that he's I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's like, well, I like talk that. to me like a human, dude. Don't well, type me in fucking numbers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Method acting. I'm like, I need you. I need you to be yeah. at a four, yeah. not at a three. Yeah. You know I don't what like I mean? That. Just, Actually, I like, just, oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Just, just, just need to Borgify by 13.5%. Yeah. But, but that's yeah. also, but that's you also a like, half step. that's a really yeah. common note you give to actors in general. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, here's here's a note you give him. Here's 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 a note you give him. Hey, um, so like right now we're doing more like robot like uh, behavior. So like here you're you're treating more more human in this this scene. Yeah, but That's how, how much? Easy it is. Not not. It doesn't matter, dude. It does we, matter. We, that yeah, was it mattered in this times. episode about no, it the nuance. Matter, dude. It really he was did. A shit director, dude. <laughs> I didn't know how to give fucking direction. No, he actually gave really <laughs> good directions, and no. you were super wrong. <laughs> Um, that's like giving a, that's like giving a line read close. That's as close as you get to giving a fucking line read. No, it's like not. Numbers. Not even close. He's giving yeah. a level of intensity. I don't that's very know. Different. I don't know if I'd call his performance like earth shattering or anything. No, I it's mean, not it earth shattering, it but it's but it's very it good su- for what it needs to be. It was yeah. sufficient. I, yeah. I think. I think it's more than sufficient. I think <laughs> I think a poorer like- actor could have given it a one note the whole time, but you can get a sense that at the beginning he is essentially emotionless, and by the end. Yeah. Despite still having similar like v- or, like auditory line delivery, so so what his, what his expressions what, are different. What helped you get that sense? Like was he his eyes more puppy dog? Was yeah. he crying a little it, he bit? He darts like, his what? eyes around more yeah. when he's questioning. Like, he becomes his more data like. Yeah, he becomes, he, he becomes like Mickey. He's like Hoo-hoo. he does oh, he, he, he does start do, <laughs> he starts doing more data like behavior and he's and his body language changes. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, he's super upright. He's stiff. He like doesn't like really articulate very much. He can't, he By the end, dance. he walks around like yeah. more naturally. <laughs> and that's saying, on purpose. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, I just want to fucking dance. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. Is that like I he think starts, I, I think he does a really good job. And I think everyone else around him is also doing a really good job, you know? <laughs> so yeah. I have no, the scene I, of him I, dancing now in my yeah, head. Yeah. Like, just like, <laughs> I mean, I agree. I sign off yeah. on the performances across the board being yeah, pretty yeah. good. Like, of course, uh, no, they're, Patrick they're, Stewart they're always fine. delivers. They're good. They're good. Whoopi Goldberg always delivers. I, yeah, my yeah. favorite part of Patrick Stewart was him his tur- him turning down uh, Troy being like, leave me the fuck alone. I don't need your counsel. And she never oh, yeah. comes You're back. Even though yeah. she says, like, oh, talk yeah. to me if you want. Yeah, 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 and he's yeah, like, yeah, we, yeah. we, we yeah. went, we he's skipped like, right over that I'm scene. I'm good. Yeah. I'm yeah. good. He's like, yeah, I know what you're she trying to do. She goes into his room I'm and she's like, good, though. Patrick, do you want to talk? And he's like, no, get out of my room. Yeah. <laughs> what I love is when she leaves, he goes back to looking at his screen and it's just a rotating enterprise model. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. He's clearly looking at nothing. Yeah. It reminds <laughs> me of that meme about rotating a cow in your mind and the cops can't stop you. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I really liked how people were for. It's not. It's rare, at least in TNG, to force people to confront their discomfort. It doesn't happen very often, and when it does, you get some of the best moments. Like I, like like Worf is forced to confront. You know the fact his that he's son? paralyzed, or or, oh, or his son. Yeah, or, he's like, I fucking hate being a dad. You know, or uh, <laughs> yeah, like like it's when they're forced, when the characters have to do things that they're uncomfortable with. Yeah, you get good, you get good scenes, and that was the whole episode. And I and I like that we got a Guinan who actually is flawed. Like she seems perfect otherwise, right? I like and in this that. I like episode, that for the first time, you see like a crack in Guinan's armor. Like Yeah, we've yeah. for the first time they, we've like, seen something that can cloud her, her judgment. Yeah. Well, and she, I mean, they the, slaughtered yeah. whole species. <laughs> yeah. yeah her, Here's the thing is I'm so upset about no one fucking keeping an eye on Picard, dude. Um, that's, that's fine. I mean, I think I'm I think angry. I'm I think fuming. when you you can mm-hmm. have gripes like that, and I think they do make sense, but yeah. I th- I guess my defense of it would be that that's not what the episode was about the, the episode wasn't about i i understand but i'm just saying yeah. like no no one no one is keeping tabs on the things that are happening dude the, the, 
I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And the it's thing is, is it's, it's clear the writers know we know because they did the fake out scene. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They know that the audience is going to be like, well, he's a little Borg still, he's right? He's compromised. Yeah. yeah. So, he's a little and, and, Borg. But I think that was, you know what I mean? But that was the way <laughs> they had to do it if they wanted to have that scene happen, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you can't have that scene with Worf in the room. I, I don't think it would really but then work. Not, why not address it more of the outside of this instance? Like it's never oh, addressed. Yeah. This is the first time the, where it's kind of acknowledged that, hey, that's, he that's could a true be a Borg. He could be a Borg undercover. So that's always and nobody been a, thinks yeah. about it. That has always been a flaw of the outcome of Best of Both Worlds. No one questions Picard. No. No. It's true. As, as to, yeah. the, the closest is the drum head. Times. The drum yeah. head is the only other time they sort What's of that? go What's that? What's hey, that? today uh, the, when What's that? when admiral sati came and started yeah, like accusing and she, everyone she says that you were a borg and how do we she she mentions exactly this right mm-hmm. like yeah what and if she's we, the she's the yeah. only one so she's far, the only lady she's the old lady, you yeah. Old lady. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah and she was the only one who had ever really pointed that yeah. out and she picard right. in that moment actually has no defense that's the moment he puts his head in his hands and goes yeah i'm going to talk about something else because he actually doesn't have a defense for that yeah like because because no one has vetted him there was no vetting process afterward, really. Yeah. And that's a true thing but that- But the writers know we know. So why yes. aren't they addressing So I think it? in this so. instance- They know we love feet. <laughs> yeah, they they, know. So I think in this instance, they know to exploit that for a scene. Yeah. But I think as a whole arc, they are definitely missing that point. They really well, should- Well, they're missing it with like, okay, they've addressed it with the audience in this scene, but not with the rest of the crew. Why is anybody thinking like, hey, do you think he's still got a little Borg left in it? Well, they can't because they hadn't before. So now <laughs> they, they, they brought it right. right now. This is more of a criticism like, toward the counts. series than it is yeah. just yeah, this, this episode. Yeah, this is a criticism of season four. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it's not- From the waist down. Yeah. yeah. It, it just, From the it just, waist down, he's got it. It, it, it didn't, it didn't uh, resolve correctly. Again, yeah. my, my fantasy scenario- for season four's uh, premiere would have been Picard comes back, but he's not put back into captain right away. And Riker has to be captain for at least a few episodes. Yeah. Yeah. You that would have made I would have really loved that, you know, yeah. That's not only does it give that should happen now that should happen now like <laughs> like what, what like in this episode they should have been like should have been like hey i'm gonna pull rank a little bit in this one for this mission when you sit this one that could have been you know what that could have legitimately been interesting yeah. where it would have been a cool what, diplomatic yeah. move on so Picard's what yeah, part. yeah so what if it was you know oh i'll recuse so, myself so, of this or whatever. not just not yes. even recuse so he might not even recuse himself because he doesn't think he should what if they contact starfleet starfleet goes okay you guys are too far to send it back to us however do your own testing but don't let picard anywhere near him yeah, and then dude. don't tell Riker picard. has to and then the the admiral says Riker, i'm actually going to field commission you to be captain picard's your xo put picard in a room far away and that's yeah. why picard and the borg never talk until yes. that moment you know could be something like that sure. yeah you could have that that could have truly yeah. worked i think that could have been really interesting and and i do think after a certain point i think like after season four they really haven't given Riker a ton to do Riker's kind of always sort of in the scene being like yeah he was i'm he here didn't do, he didn't do a ton <laughs> in this episode yeah mm-hmm. he, in, he should in have general, been like he should have been like asking like tough questions like how do you guys fuck or do you guys <laughs> you yeah exactly do you guys have heart do you guys go to the bathroom yeah. do you pee? Yeah. well i guess Riker shit? did have have a recent episode with the um with the Janai. That's true. And the uh the 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 uh the androgynous people episode. Yeah, the androgynous yeah. people oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. person. Uh, that was his highlight yeah. for the, the for the yeah. season so far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing is that I want to apologize. I, <laughs> I called it the Galactic Empire and I <laughs> That's the offensive That's part. That's the said. one you're apologizing yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't want. I don't want to get. I don't want to get stabbed in the streets. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'm giving it a ten. Wow. I, just, I don't. I love this. I don't episode. know, Marvin. I don't know. I, I like it. how it's the second second time to date that Picard's got a chance to yell at Guinan. Yes, there. And Guinan yells yeah. too. Actually, Guinan also yells. And she should have stabbed him for reals. Yeah, I, I, I can just fucking slash his face. <laughs> I, I like what they all the characters are forced to do as a result of Hugh showing up. And uh, I feel like the sentiments there, I just didn't go the distance for me. Like, I think you know it did. I mean? For me, uh, this is this is one of those episodes where every time I watch it, I go, yep, that's still good. I like this episode a lot. I, I still like it quite a bit. So yeah, I enjoy the more quandary of it. But also, I want to point out two more things. Oh, okay. One, I love the exchange. Captain. I do not want to forget that I am Hugh. 
There, there, shut up, boy. Energize. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. You just, uh, just get out, get out of here, Ben. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. also, it's totally canon. Dead Borg leave behind oily stains. Yes. So what happened is uh, we thought we thought they were transporting them away. Apparently, they are vaporizing them from a distance. What? Yeah. So apparently, the thing where um, either they can activate it remotely, or a Borg can activate it on their person, and it vaporizes them. They're vaping Borg. Yeah, they're vaping Borg. So they're killing them. Oh they're not God. taking the bodies back. They only take the part of them that is unique. I think. Oh, like when they go up to them and they take like the little. They took like a black like a box little, or something. Little yeah. Box, and then that's it. They. they yeah, and then the rest the of them body? they consider to be completely like, replaceable. Considering so. Ricardo's early description of what vaping is, I don't know if you want to vape Borg. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, seven. <laughs> seven and a half. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know. But yeah, that's 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 why I think they they always leave behind such a huge stain. It's because they're literally burning them alive. Or not uh, not alive. They're dead. They're burning their bodies away. They're cremating them. them, essentially. So that's why. They can't reuse parts? Reuse, recycle? They just don't yeah. think it's worth it, I think. I think they yeah. just go, we'll grab, they're, these are replaceable. We'll grow new ones and then- I think recycling is always worth it. Not Not for the Borg. Because (laughs) they don't need uh, trees or anything. They just just, just need leather. Borg are anti-recycling. Yeah. (laughs) When you have the technology to decompose and recompose matter at will, you're fine. The Borg is entirely about planned obsolescence. They're over recycling and reusing things. Yeah. (laughs) You only have a two-year contract with every new Borg. What's the phrase? Reuse, re. Reuse, recycle, reduce, reduce and, reuse. There, and we, close go, there the loop. we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. When in doubt, whip it out. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We're That's what also be that cool about too. fire safety. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Love it. Love either it. And that's either by uh, there's two two different actors who played Seymour Smoke. One was George Stanza, and the other was the Aflac Duck. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> their Gilbert actual Godfrey. names. I don't Gilbert know. Godfrey. Yeah, yeah, Gilbert <laughs> Godfrey. Aflac Duck. And, oh, that's and, right. Uh, he was that. Jason Aflac Alexander. Duck, right? It's me, Seymour Smoke, Smoke Detector. That's how you would say. Detector. Yeah, and then and then the, later he was replaced by George Costanza, who goes, "Hi, see more smoke here." And then it'd That's be way more. It was worse. That's yeah, it was much worse. It's Gilbert Gottfried was the better see more smoke. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, but all yeah, this is I I Borg. Get see now you know why it was called I Borg because he referred to himself as I. Hey, so, mm. I know back. I Borg. Uh, so yeah, if, if you guys have been liking iPhone. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I Borg is actually the next Apple product. Ah! Well, Steve Jobs probably they're loved gonna, this episode. They're going to, you know, the new headset. It's actually going to be revealed that it's called the I Borg and it'll just assimilate Dude. people as soon as you put it on. I don't think so. Cause Apple's a, <laughs> Apple's a good company. You know. Ricardo. Apple's Ricardo. a great company. And they have they're a, such they have a good a, company. It's that the they only block other- Good company. They block other companies from stealing your data and instead steal it themselves. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's the American way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, on that uh, note. Well, if you guys have been liking our discussion, uh, maybe you could join our YouTube channel as a member. Uh, if you can join the Tim tier, it's only one ninety nine a month and it gives you early access Tim. to new episodes, which is a pretty sweet deal. Plus a few other things. You get emojis. Tim. You get... <laughs> You get uh, access to all of the episodes, <laughs> video episodes without any YouTube ads on them. We yeah. are Tim. Yeah. <laughs> and we're planning to add other things. I think eventually we're yeah, going to set up put a- this job. <laughs> I Oh my God. Tim. <laughs> Can we put Borg Picard as an emoji? Oh, we should. We could do that. Love, we could. Bo- I would yeah. love Borg Picard as Sexy Borg Picard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a personal uh, request for me. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, just give me give me a few minutes. But also, we're planning to add more perks to that Tim tier, uh, one of which is going to at least be a Discord. <laughs> so we're going to add that. we did a Tim tier. It's so good. <laughs> and then we're at, planning to add more tiers, too, uh, eventually. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're still- tier for Tim every- Thomas and- yeah. Peter, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, no, like a Warfian tier. Warfian. Yeah, or Kardashian, an electro- Kardashian. electrolyte tier. Kardashian. 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 Electrolyte yeah. tier. 
We're we're not doing a Kardashian tier. We're just come on, dude. <laughs> An electric electrolyte tier. Ricardo. Wait, you can be a, a crystal monster. What do we call it? The cr- crystal meth. Crystal meth. Crystal meth tier. The tea bag. Tea bag. Tea bag. Tea bag tier. Tea bag tier. We'll we'll figure it out. But we're gonna add more tiers that are gonna offer more more things. One of which maybe live streaming in the future. We're still trying to figure out the details. Figure out what that could be. But yeah. But also. If you ever, if you guys ever want to send us an email directly, you know, talk to us that way. You can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. This week we have a fellow Floridian who sent oh us boy. an email. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Boy. Named Scott. Oh, uh, Scott. Okay. A different Scott, not our Scott. Another mm-hmm. Scott. All right, everybody, stand yeah. your ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just goes okay in conundrum which is the episode where they all lost their memories, but not their personalities. Right. Yes. And remember Worf mm-hmm. thought he was the leader? So, yes. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Dude. So his question is, jump. In, con- <laughs> so good. in conundrum, yeah. Worf is in the ready room. Yeah. Thinks he's the captain, right? Mm-hmm. All of Picard's stuff is in there. How can you think he's the captain? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 he, he forgot everything, though. He forgot no, everything. No, he knows though. what he likes because they kept their personality. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> yeah. He probably has pictures of his own stuff in there too, right? So, yeah. No, I would love if in that episode only there was a portrait of Picard himself on his desk. <laughs> Just like, Picard. And yeah. Worf goes, I must love Picard. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and, then, and then he finds Picard's like photo album and he starts going to the photo album and he goes, this must be the family I've made together with Picard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, clearly they didn't think it through. That part no. they didn't think through. They probably shouldn't have had a scene in the ready room. That that draws too much attention to that. Well, it took us till now to laugh at it's it. True, so it's true. It's, it's, it's good true. enough. Yeah, and the yeah. pop-off is great. Thank you for that. I love that. That's a good Amazing. point. Yeah. But yeah, that was, that was our letter for this week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, if you want to listen to more stuff, there is something coming up on fugitiveframes.com. What? It, mm-hmm. it, it isn't, dude. There isn't. There isn't well, nothing it, coming up. There, there's coming up. Ricardo, there's you can't lie. You can't lie to the people that way. You can't I, just. I never lie. I'll, <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Well, we are seeing. I'm it. tired yeah. of being teased about shit yeah. that We've nothing been, and then nothing happens. Dan, yeah, you know dude. we. You've this been is saying, exactly we, like the Chris Gaines movie, dude. <laughs> There's something exactly. exciting on the horizon. It's coming. It's coming. I don't it's care coming. what we've been doing off air. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but yeah. Working hard is what we've been doing. Working <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Yes. Uh, but next week, we yeah. are going to be watching the next phase. Okay. That can be anything. I don't know what that phase be, so. spelled how. Uh, like like phaser, P H A S E. What do you say next week, Marvin? Because what if what if what if there's a time displacement? And did we're I say next week? Years? You did. You did. Yeah. Did I say next time or next week? No, next week. You next said. week. Oh, okay. Yeah. You usually say next week then. Next okay. Time. Well, next time. Yeah. In case yeah. in case we are all knocked out by some sort of alien that wipes out our memories some, and keeps no, resetting like, us for weeks. Well, like, what about like Thanos? <laughs> what if we get dusted for ten years and then come back? I would love mm-hmm. that. Or only why would you or, like? Or, that? Or, or what if we get Thanos <laughs> and only half peaceful. of us are snapped away? Why would you want to be snapped away? Because you, it sounds peaceful. You, you don't you don't get to rest or anything. Like yeah, you there's just yeah. Go away. The, so there's, they have, there's been depictions of people who are snapped and came back. They don't even know they've been snapped. They just yeah. yeah they don't then, realize. Then why they don't I, get to rest. Then why why would I even have an opinion about it? If I because you've lost 10 years. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah, I mean, so do I come, wait, do I come back as like the same age? Yes, you have but, an but, age, oh, but everyone else great. has. But, but well, that's Sarah. awesome. Sarah. That, means Sarah. Sarah. that means I look young. That means I look young. Here's the thing, though. Sa- that's awesome. But Marvin is married to... to uh, Someone else? P- Picard. I'm happy Le- for Le- you. Le- <laughs> yeah. But... Your loved ones are now older. You will have that much less yeah, time to spend with yeah. them. Yeah, and, and, and potentially some money. of them may have passed you, by maybe. then. Yeah. And, and I mean, no I could money. get hit by a bus. Who knows? You know, well, we but, can all get but, hit but by a bus. That doesn't mean you would yeah. want to be hit by I a bus. I could go rent a bus like right now. You wouldn't want yeah, to be snapped. Yeah, <laughs> you, you could. Yeah. This is an right argument. Yeah, <laughs> I don't sounds, think there's any. There's no benefit to being snapped. It sounds all right to me. It doesn't sound horrible. The only reason you would want to be snapped if is if you were a very conservative time traveler and you wanted to go only the future just a little bit. 
Yeah. That's the only reason. Well, I know <laughs> the future is going to be worse than right now. So maybe I wouldn't snap. Yeah, see? Forward. Yeah. Now you're because thinking about it. Then, uh, b- because well, then but- I would have to deal with that sooner. And I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I just want to d- maybe die before the 10 years. <laughs> so maybe I don't even want to be involved. <sighs> you know later. what? No Thanos. Thanos is gone, dude. I'm, I'm done. I'm done <laughs> with yeah. Thanos, dude. Uh, you know, I mean, to be fair, I I'm, always I always agreed that he had the right intention, just not yeah. the right execution. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Like his he, point he is He should have just perfect. made more planets, more planets, and more, yeah. more that, things. That's, that's <laughs> what everyone said, right? Everyone was like, "Why would you kill people instead of snapping more food into existence?" Or, or, or it's replicators. Just, it's not that simple, though. You, you, it is, though. You have the literal it, power of the whole universe. In no, <laughs> no, no. Shut up. It, and the only explanation is that he's crazy. <laughs> Ex- no, except they, except it they would keep take trying. so much power that he couldn't handle a command that big for the gauntlet. He's yeah, a crazy wish. environmentalist. Okay, I wish, <laughs> I wish, I wish when when he got the all, all the 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 stones that Ron Williams came out and he's like ah, and this, he's a genie inside the gauntlet. <laughs> Three he, he starts like giving him stipulations. He's like, actually, yeah. I can't snap anyone away. I can turn you into a prince. Yeah. <laughs> Do you oh want to be a prince? I can give you a magic carpet. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, yeah. You know what? <laughs> like Thanos didn't do anything with the gauntlet that was against genie rules. By the way, he didn't the kill gauntlet, anyone. The gauntlet. The gauntlet. The gauntlet, the gauntlet is in Aladdin. The movie Aladdin. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like the the remake? No, the original one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're telling me that on Disney Plus they edited in a gone. No, no, it's, it's in the it's in the VHS too. Oh, okay. Well, oh. Well, well, it's Ricardo. possible. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the concept was, of the gauntlet existed, but it's just at the a, time it's it was just, just in gold, comics. It's also just a golden glove, which I'm sure <laughs> exists. True. I mean, well, you do need to have gemstones on the knuckles specifically. That's supposed to be the thing. But you know, that can happen to anything. It's, it's just a cool place to put gems. If you have a gold, if you have a golden glove, you might as well put some gems on it. To begin it's with. true. Resident yeah. Evil Four taught us this. Yeah, exactly. If you're gonna find a stein, you might as well start putting some gems on it, some cat eyes on them, you know, to make sure they're worth more. Ah, I'll give it a high price. Yeah, you're gonna give it to me for a high price because I spent all that time putting fucking cat eyes on them. That's why. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right, we're gonna we're gonna see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. See Goodbye. ya. Bye. Bye. See you next. We're gonna time. we're gonna look at this fucking thing that Ricardo linked us about the, the fucking gauntlet. Yeah. After these messages. Oh shit, he's wearing the gauntlet. I told you guys. <laughs> what? It, it does it does look big and fat like the Infinity Gauntlet does. And he's he is doing weird powers with them. <laughs> oh, well, this uh, this is an animated cart- like, yeah, this the cartoon. This is a TV show. This is, this is the TV show. This is, this well, is in the- that case, I totally believe it because there was definitely some comic book oh, nerd on And he that makes team. a bigger fist out of gold. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the sort of crew that where you could push something like that through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I, All I get right. it. I get it. All that right. makes it's sense. Canon. It, and and the genie can fight it just like we postulated. So yeah, yeah that's this neat. Is, this is canon. It's all. Let's canon. put this link in the episode description. <laughs> yeah, we should. We should definitely have people this, check this it will, out. This will be in the episode description now. Yeah. All right. All right. Peace out. Peace. Peace, peace out, everyone. Peace, out. peace, love, and prosperity. <laughs> See you guys. Love it.